uh, we're up and running for Friday, October the 29th. It's uh, option expiry day, uh, Friday. So there you go. Just saw it right there. I can't have that. How you doing? Um, nice to see you here this morning. I hope you're doing well. Um, lots going on here. Uh, fallout happening, continuing to happen from last evening um, when our friends at Apple and Amazon made their financial reports for their latest quarters uh, public. Uh, surprise, surprise. Both companies were unable to deliver um, higher earnings uh, that had been anticipated in many people's cases. A lot of investors were thinking for sure that Apple and Amazon would uh, do another blowout. Could not happen. And that dreaded word or that phrase is now coming into, into play here. I've mentioned this to you guys for at least six months. Uh, supply chain problems. Uh, six months ago, I started commenting on it. I started noticing it. Uh, the word come, came out, coming out of China about the container ship problems, the, 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 the incredible costs as they went up, uh, Europe having problems, China having problems, U.S. having problems, and this has not ended. And we heard all about the F-150 pickup truck. It all started with that. Remember that back in the summer? We heard about F-150 pickup trucks getting 95% uh, built and then uh, coming out of factories, assembly lines, and being parked in factory parking lots by the thousands, waiting for critical components to arrive. And at that time, the talk was chips, chips, chips. It's all about computer chips. Um, and Ford's backup just kept piling up and piling up and piling up. And uh, many of you let me know that um, the, lead, the local Ford dealer in your neighborhood, uh, the parking lot looks awfully uh, thin. Uh, you know, the, the lot full of new cars is not full of th new cars, new trucks. Uh, there are gaps big time. Um, RV dealerships have got problems with inventory. Uh, um, this, is, this is huge. And now, um, for the first time, Amazon and Apple delivered financials that were, they were good in a way they were, you know, they're not losing money, but they are not executing on all cylinders either. And there is the Achilles heel to this market, to this economy, to a recovery. And this is the price we're going to pay for years. We're going to pay this. This is not a one quarter anomaly. Everything will be fine next quarter kind of a story. Not going to happen. As long as 20% of the human population in G20 countries, adult population, will not get vaccinated, this disease will run rampant and it will kill and it will cause all kinds of headaches and problems everywhere, including supply chain problems. And uh, this is not going away. Uh, the anti-vaxxers, uh, whatever their thinking is, whatever more power to you whatever you're thinking is is you're thinking but the reality is um the u.s economy the canadian economy the european economy the asian economies the high-end economies of the world need just-in-time delivery of goods and services to make the economies run at 100 percent efficiencies we're not doing it we're at 85 percent and now it is beginning to show up on the earnings reports of some of our favorite brands. It, it's come all the way up now to Apple, the number one most valuable corporation on the planet is having supply chain issues with product. And uh, the good news for Apple, there is actually a silver lining here. I, I wouldn't call it like incredibly good news, but it's good news. If you are waiting to get your hands on a brand new iPhone, which this is not, uh, Apple 13 iPhone, or you're looking for a MacBook Pro, uh, one of the new computers, you'll wait. You'll wait for the phone to be available. You're not going to Samsung. You're not going to Dell. You're not going anywhere else. You're not going to buy another brand. You'll wait for Apple to deliver the product to you. You'll wait. By the way, a hungry grizzly, salute to you today. Thank you for starting my show off with a beautiful green banner. New member. Um, Hungry Grizzly is either rolling over a membership and just renewing, 
uh, or is a brand new member. And I say thank you and welcome to the club. You're among some of the finest YouTube followers in the world. Thank you for being here. And I love it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining up. Uh, Apple, <laughs> the most powerful company in the world. If you have a contract with Apple, you're you're a company in, in Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> you're in... You're in uh, Dayton, Ohio. Uh, you have a factory in uh, Spokane, Washington. I mean, I don't care who you are. Uh, you're you you have a chip company in Taiwan. I don't care where you are. Um, and Apple is your client. You have a client called Apple, and they've agreed to buy from you. Um, you know, a certain number of parts that you're able to make. I would think that as the owner of the company or the chairman of the board or the president or the CEO or, you know, a member of the production team, we would make sure in our factory that the Apple order goes out the door on time every time, always. And we don't care about anybody else. Uh, everyone else's orders, the hell with those, Apple gets filled first. Uh, can't do it. They can't even fulfill orders for Apple. Uh, those checks don't bounce, you know. Those Apple checks don't bounce. Look, Apple, uh, they're realistic. They know. Um, we, we can't get our parts uh, just like anybody else can't get parts. There are disruptions in the pipeline. And it could be that the factory in Taiwan that can't get the part to Apple on time whatever it is they produce for Apple is made up of 150 different parts from 10 different factories in Taiwan and or elsewhere. And all these parts have to come to this factory for final assembly to then go to Apple. And therein lies the problem because an Apple uh, big ass iPad like this, as big as my head, uh, these are not produced. Every single part for this unit is not made in one factory. It is produced all over the world, and the parts are brought in to final assembly locations for final assembly, just like Ford F-150s, Teslas, GM, GM trucks. I don't care what you build. Uh, Whirlpool refrigerators. Uh, the parts to make all of these items <clears throat> are not manufactured in one factory from scratch. Back in the day, in 1910, 20, when Henry Ford was cranking out Model Ts, every single part of a Model T, except maybe the tires, were produced at the plant in Detroit for Henry Ford at Ford. Uh, the tires came from Firestone, I believe, because it was a, he was a buddy of his, and, and Firestone made tires, and Firestone delivered tires to the number one client, Ford. Um, yeah, uh, the cars were completely manufactured at the big plant in, in Michigan, um, uh, for Ford. Uh, but that changed, uh, decades and decades down the road. It all changed out today, Ford, Chrysler, GM, BMW, Volkswagen. I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter. No single car company produces every single part for their car anymore. They have it all brought in from outside. Uh, there could be dozens, hundreds of sub suppliers producing parts for car companies, uh, especially like s s items that are as complicated as dashboards. Dashboards are not made in Detroit, <laughs> they're made elsewhere. The components inside dashboards today, oh my God, high end computer systems, are unbelievable. All GM does is uh, put the dashboard into the area of the cab or the truck or the car and they connect wires to it, and then they test it to make sure it's running. They don't produce anything in there at all. Anyway, if Apple can't get parts on time, uh, nobody can get parts on time. Everyone else will be in the same pickle as Apple. If, if Apple cannot produce iPhones, it's not like we didn't know there were the iPhone 13 was coming. It's not like this is a surprise announcement. It's not like factories didn't know six months ago they had to produce parts for the Apple 13. They did. They knew. The reality is the demand is so high for Apple i13 iPhones, um, they can't produce enough of them. And uh, the supply chain of problems just compound matters. And this is spreading to every industry around the globe for everything. And that is why when you go to your favorite retail location in person, you're noticing in some cases shelves are empty or they're thin. 
there's product on the shelves, but you'll notice like I was in the Albertson store the other day uh, trying to buy some caffeine free Diet Coke. This is not high tech stuff, okay? It's brown, fuzzy water, is all this is. Coca Cola cannot seem to deliver two liter bottles and or cans of caffeine free Diet Coke to their customers. At Albertsons, they have the shelf up there full of two liter bottles. There's Coca Cola Classic, takes up half of it, and then Diet Coke takes up the rest. There's no Cherry Coke, there's no Caffeine Free Coke, there's no Coke Max, or all the other versions of Coca Cola. There's too much of this crap. There should be Coke, Diet Coke, and Caffeine Free, and leave it at that. But that's just, again, that's an old man talking. It's okay. Nothing personal against you folks who love Cherry Coke, but it's not there. Coca-Cola can't even deliver its product line. The number one thing that they are known for, the, the product with their name on it, they can't deliver to grocery stores on time. What's, what's wrong with that? Is there a shortage of water? Is there a shortage of plastic for bottles? Is there a shortage of aluminum for cans? What is the issue? There's a number of issues. Aluminum is definitely one of them. Um, but yes, there are problems. And so all of us are finding at our local grocery stores gaps, uh, items not available. Uh, shocking. Uh, we're, we're not used to that. Uh, we're, we're so spoiled as, as G10 people, G8, G20 country people. We're so spoiled with the Western world that everything should be there at all times whenever we want it. But it, it, it's not. Um, Amazon is absolutely shining. Uh, the light is shining on Amazon as to just how bad it is. Um, Amazon is an absolute clear example of the mess of supply chain problems because Amazon handles hundreds of thousands of different items from every country you know, practically in the world. Uh, they ship everywhere. Uh, they bring in everywhere. And they are now not able to execute on their total plan. And if any company operates on what we call a just on time system it's amazon you click on your little device the item you want and within 24 hours that item is on the move and well on your way to your place if not already there certainly by 48 hours you have it and depending on how fast you want it they can't deliver now they cannot complete the deliveries they have the orders the problem with amazon though is that if you don't get item whatever in a certain time frame, you might cancel the order. Unlike Apple, uh, you don't get your Apple i13 iPhone by this weekend. It's okay. You'll wait. It'll take a week. You'll wait another week. When it arrives, you'll get it, and you'll be happy with your new iPhone 13. But if you're ordering a certain item off of Amazon that is available at uh, retailers and other online sellers, you'll cancel the order after a while if you don't get a fill. Uh, Amazon can lose business, where Apple will unlikely lose any business at all. That's happening there. Other news that just broke before I came on the air, Royal Caribbean. Our friends at Royal Caribbean have come out with their latest quarterly numbers, and they're not good. Uh, they have lost more money in the last uh, quarter than they were expected to. Uh, 1.4 billion versus 1.3 billion. They lost 100 million more in 90 days that they were not supposed to lose. Uh, even though 65% of their ships are now in the water and or holding passengers or, or taking passengers for rides, the numbers are not looking good at Royal Caribbean. They're trying to put a spin on it as they always would. That, hey, you know, the rest of the ships are coming online real soon and the bookings are way up. We got a lot of people who want to cruise. It's great. Yeah, well, that sounds great. It sounds fantastic. Uh, but if you dig into the numbers a little bit, you'll find a couple of disturbing trends. The, uh, disturbing trend number one, and, and this is not a secret, but it's just not being discussed. Uh, uh, Royal Caribbean, when they started canceling cruises like everybody else uh, a year ago, springtime, uh, they were desperately trying to convince their clients who had paid for their cruises six months a year a year and a half earlier back in 2018 and 19 they were paying for 2020 and 2021 cruises they were trying to keep those folks that cash in their bank account at royal caribbean and they were offering uh bonuses so you you drop five grand on us for a cruise um we'll give you six grand worth of cruise for for the five grand you you keep the five grand with us and we'll add a thousand dollar shipboard credit to spend any way you want. Or how about we give you 
a drink package for each of you or we you sail with us next cruise you don't pay tips uh, they were giving away the farm to keep the cash um, half of all cruisers did that they, they took their money half did not take their money back they left their money with the cruise line and so now bookings yeah yeah of course the bookings are up the problem is the cruise line can't sail at 100 percent occupancy they can only sail at about 40 to 50 percent uh half of those folks are actually credit holders people who have prepaid for cruises with bonuses who are going to now utilize their credits for a cruise that they haven't had for a year and a half the cruise line is getting zero money from these people because these people have already paid they already gave them their money in 2019 2018 the cruise line has to honor these deals and even though the cruise line has raised their prices uh, to try to you know make up the difference with these increased credits that people have some some people have 25 percent more credit so for every dollar you had given this guy these guys you the cruise line is giving you 125 or the dollar 25 in credit right now so even if they raise their prices by 25 percent there is no new cash coming in for royal caribbean from the credits the credits of the credits they must honor those and there are millions of them and i'm going to guess it's going to take two more years minimum two more full years before Royal Caribbean can catch up with all the credits that they've offered out there and so half of the ship's uh, passengers right now are prepaid cruise credit passengers and half the passengers are paying cash now to get on these ships cruise lines are running at 50 percent occupancy that means 25 percent of the passengers or only 25 percent of the occupancy is paying to be on the ship that 25% does not cover the cost of running the entire cruise. There's the problem. And that is why Royal Caribbean is losing money. They're losing money even though they're sailing again. And they're going to lose money this quarter. They're going to lose money the next quarter. They're going to lose money for another year and a half because they are not going to be able to sail at 100% occupancy. And they have to give away all these, well, they not give away, but they have to honor all of these cruise credits that is cash that they borrowed from their passengers back in uh, March 2020, right up to just a few months ago when they were canceling every cruise left, right, and center across all their cruise lines. And so don't be surprised when Carnival announces uh, losses and Norwegian announces a bunch of losses. It will continue. And uh, don't also be surprised if the cruise lines continue to raise cash through bond offerings and stock offerings to stay alive to keep to keep on rolling so the stock's 84.50 right now in the pre-market miraculously it's actually up 25 cents in the pre-market which is so stupid so ridiculous um but there are, are people who are i don't understand it. they they buy against the grain it is absolutely shocking to me how they buy against the grain i, I I can't help these folks. The number of shares outstanding on the stock, um, probably upwards now 50% more outstanding than two years ago. And even when they do turn around and begin to make a profit, any kind of a profit, Royal Caribbean is going to have to divide the profit into way, way more shares outstanding to then come up with how many, how many pennies a share are they earning. And it's going to be ugly. Um, they will not hit um not in a decade not in the next 10 years will they ever have an earnings report where they'll be able to say we made just as much money per share this quarter like we did in our record year back in 2019. that is not happening until at least 2030 ish or longer because by the time they before they can get to that level they got to do a couple of things they got to pay off 10 to 15 billion dollars of loans that they owe they, this money they borrowed to stay alive they got to pay all that off that isn't done in one year and then they have to do stock buybacks they got to reduce the stock outstanding it's going to take 10 10 years minimum a long long time keep in mind that 10 years from now every ship in the fleet that royal caribbean has is 10 years older that means turnover they got to say goodbye to their old ships hello to new ships big expenses maintaining ships of course every five years they go into dry dock on and on go the problems of the cruise lines the mother um, mother time 
or father time, is relentless when it comes to eating up cruise ships. Um, it, the salt air, the salt water, uh, mechanical uh, uh, wear and tear. Remember, a cruise ship that is operating for a cruise line is a self-contained city on water. And only for a few hours do cruise ships actually not sail. Normally, they're in the water. And all of their systems are up and running, which means their, their internal plumbing systems, their internal air conditioning, airflow systems, their electrical plant uh, for all that power that they need. Um, for, for, of course, the two systems I just mentioned, but then there's the kitchen, um, there's the lighting, there's the uh, navigation, then there's the power for the engines. Every mechanical item on the ship is running 24-7. They come into port. And they drop passengers off and they pick passengers up and they go back in the water. They might be on land, at, at land for six, eight hours. In six, eight hours, you cannot replace the entire air conditioning system on a cruise ship if it breaks down. You can replace components. You can do replacements at sea, depending on, you know, how you can isolate, isolate it. But you might have to shut down certain cabins. If you've got an entire level of a cruise ship not air conditioned, you've got problems. you got you got a thousand <laughs> you have a thousand passengers without air conditioning you got problems you have a you have a thousand toilets out of four thousand toilets not flushing you got a problem it is a big deal and so um, at cruise lines are constantly battling wear and tear of their systems now the good news is they know that they are very aware of this uh, they're not like oblivious to the fact that oh my god our toilets aren't working they also build in scheduled replacement parts for their ships. And they also advance book dry dock time. They'll take a two to four week window every five years where the ship does not sail with any passengers. The ship will go into dry dock and will be completely redone. Uh, it might be uh, all the uh, plumbing, um, uh, certain plumbing systems are redone or all the kitchen uh, equipment is replaced in and out. Uh, all the chairs in the dining room are replaced or um, all the uh, mattresses in the cabins are all replaced. I mean, it, it, it's a big deal. These are 100 to $500 million refurbs that are pre-organized. They take a year in advance to organize and coordinate, and then 30 days to do, and then the ship is back out and working again. Uh, so they're on top of this stuff, but stuff happens, and sometimes uh, parts don't work out. In the last year and a half, cruise lines have delayed dry docks. That's the other problem, that uh, they have delayed dry docks because either the dry dock was closed because of the COVID and they couldn't bring the ships in, or the parts that they needed to replace on the ship were delayed because of supply chain issues. So even if the ship came into dry dock, the beds aren't there, or the new televisions aren't there, or the dishwashers for the kitchen aren't there. They're delayed and we can't get them for six more months. This is no good. That this 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 is not good. They have to be there, all of them at the same time. And you have got to have an army of guys and gals to rip out the old equipment, clean up the mess, rewire everything, and then bring in the new equipment and test it, make sure it runs all in 30 days. Um, so the cruise lines have had that issue. And then the other issue they've had is because they're broke and they're not bringing in any cash, they're delaying their uh, dry docks. They've decided we're going to delay our dry dock by a year. We're going to hold off. We're not going to spend $250 million refurbishing this ship during the middle of a pandemic. We'll wait another year because all this cancellation, we cancel every cruise. This ship's cruises have been completely canceled for the next two years. It has no schedule. Once we know the schedule going forward for this ship, we'll build in a dry dock into it as well. And that might be two years from now. And so there are a lot of ships sailing right now that should have had a dry dock in the last year, year and a half that won't have one for six months to a year and a half from now, which means some ships may have mechanical problems at sea because they didn't go in for dry dock. And certain things must be replaced at a certain time. Others you can fiddle with. And so there are challenges. And so I expect cruise lines to continue to be unreliable economically. Uh, with regards to their dollars because uh, they're scrambling. And I'm not mad at them, and I'm not going, hey, I'm not teasing them. I'm just telling you the fact in plain English that it's been now since February of 2020. This is October 2021. 
it's been a long time that cruise lines have been under tremendous duress, a lot of stress over there, and a lot of their staffs were laid off, completely furloughed by these cruise lines in the first 90 days of the pandemic, the first 180 days, people were let go because they had no idea when they'd be brought back. And a lot of those folks have gone on to get other day jobs because, hey, you're an employee of a cruise line and you just got laid off from your $80,000 a year job. What are you going to do? Sit around the house and hope they call you back in six months? No, you're going to find a job doing something else. And there are a lot of people who've done just that and are not going to go back to the cruise line if the call comes because they're gainfully employed. Maybe they're working from home like I've talked about, or maybe they become a viewer of this channel now trading stock and writing options and don't need a day job anymore. Uh, there are those. Um, things have changed. And so cruise lines are going to be scrambling like everybody else for employees to get up and running again. And so the cruise line earnings are going to be inconsistent for quite some time. And uh, the shares are nowhere near what they're worth, where they're trading at right now. They're nowhere near that price. No. Anyway, that's my consistent uh, dip on all that, my, my thought on all that. Uh, other than that, we're down 565 on Apple right now, uh, just so you knows. Um, on the uh, Royal Caribbean stock, or, uh, we're, we're now um, uh, we're negative 24 odd cents. On, uh, on Amazon, uh, those shares are down $157 a share to $3,288. It's a 4.5% drop on Amazon, by the way. Is this the end of the world? No. Um, is this going to begin a worldwide recession? No. Is this going to cause the stock market to have an all-time crash and uh, everybody will want to get out of every stock ever held? No. Um, what is it? Um, it's a dip. That's all. It's just a dip. I hate to... Uh, actually, I don't hate. <laughs> I don't hate to tell you this. Um, I'm happy to tell you this. I'm happy to tell you that just because Amazon is off 156 bucks a share, and just because Apple is showing down 549 a share, the end of the world has not arrived. I'm very happy to tell you that. Um, it's going to be okay. Um, how about that? Uh, what I will say is the dumbest move made in the last 24 hours is over at Facebook, changing their name to Meta, whatever they, what they want to call themselves and changing their logo or their stock symbol in the next month or so. That's the dumbest move of the week. Um, I'm going to keep calling them uh, Facebook, uh, just like I call um, Alphabet Google. Um, that's what they are. That's what they'll always be. And uh, that's what they're known for. Um, dumb moves, uh, uh, PR stuff. And I, I, I just, I just, uh, um, uh, I'm blown away from time to time. And again, me, my age has something to do with it, I'm sure. I am blown away from time to time at how gullible, gullible these uh, high-end billionaire outfit, uh, trillion-dollar companies are, where they actually think that, well, if I change my name, well, we'll uh, change our entire philosophy, and uh, well, people will forget about all about how stupid we are with our other divisions. Uh, think again, Chester. It ain't going to happen. We're not that stupid out here. Uh, Facebook is Facebook, and that's the end of it. And um, you can call yourself whatever the hell you want, and you, you can get into whatever business you want. But you're Facebook, okay? You're just Facebook. You make a lot of money. You buy back a lot of stock. Um, you make a lot of people happy. You make a lot of people upset. It's the way it is. We're used to you, um, and we're going to call you Facebook. And... Um, Call yourself whatever the hell you want, but your Facebook. And so there you go. Amazon, um, not Amazon, uh, Google. Alphabet is Google. I don't care what you how, how many billions you spend on promoting yourself as Alphabet. You're Google. And um, when I look up something on the internet, I don't go alphabeting. I go Googling, okay? Uh, you're Google. Um, Xerox is a copy, uh, a photocopier. Okay, the Xerox machine is a photocopier. It's as simple as that. Kleenex is this. This is not tissue paper. These are Kleenexes. And I don't care what the company is called that makes this crap. Yeah, you got a Kleenex? I need a Kleenex. That's it. And uh, the sooner you get with the program, the better for your company. But hey, you know, you get these corporate uppity-ups and you get these PR people who just 
are convincing these guys at incredible dollars. I mean, how many millions of dollars did Facebook get charged by whatever agency they hired to come up with a new name for their company? I mean, those agency guys are the geniuses. The idiots are over at Facebook. They're the morons. They're wasting shareholder money, wasting shareholder money on changing their name rather than building their business. Uh, that That's who should be fired? The guys over at Facebook that decided it would be a good idea to change the name. If that's right up at the top, get rid of that guy. Uh, he's no longer qualified to run the company. He's lost the vision. I mean, I, sorry, uh, sorry, Mark. Uh, maybe you're no, maybe your time's up. Uh, but I know you're not going anywhere because he got too many shares. But you really name change. You're not fooling me. You're not fooling any of us. It's stupid. Ah, uh, gosh, I don't know. What are you supposed to? What am I supposed to do? What? what, what? I try to save these people from themselves. It's impossible. Um, you know, if they would contact me and offer me millions of dollars in consulting fees, I could tell them what to do and not to do. That might might give them a better idea what they should be doing, but they don't contact me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do what I can. I'm sorry. Um, I do what I can for everybody. All right. Uh, we are now uh, 30 minutes away from opening this market. Um, I'm showing it down a little bit. Uh, the Dow down 84, S and P down 27, the Nasdaq down 150. Um, interesting how the Dow was up 250 yesterday, down 250 the day before, something like that. Now we're down 88. Um, the so-called earnings miss uh, is not crushing the markets. We're not down a thousand points on the Dow. We're not down 1800 on Nasdaq. We're down a little bit. It's no big deal uh, because uh, Apple's not going anywhere. Amazon's not going anywhere. Uh, they're going to continue to just roll along and go with the punches. It's the investors who have priced these shares to perfection uh, that we're expecting the shares to just keep right on going without any interruption whatsoever because just because there's supply chain problems doesn't mean Apple can't make a whole bunch of money. No, it does mean Apple can't make a whole bunch of money. It does mean that Amazon can't make a whole bunch of money. It does mean Ford might screw up or GM might screw up or Tesla God forbid, might screw up. Uh, it can happen. The supply chain thing is unavoidable. Everyone has to, is running into it. Every single one of us is running into supply chain issues already in the littlest, tiniest way. Whether you bought a, a container of ketchup that was the different size than you were thinking of getting, or it was uh, another brand of toilet paper because that brand is out, we've already gone through supply chain issues we're still going through supply chain issues but we're we're surviving we're, we're plugging along you know we're in the western world we have western world problems but it's now beginning to affect the bottom line of corporations publicly traded companies which could affect the stock market's averages and so i'm just warning you just telling you look for that from time to time you never know okay all right bruce uh, Bruce, I hate uh, I hate Facebook and I love Uncle Bruce, but you are far out of your depth here. Oh, Cheddar Stacks, I know more than you forgot. Relax. It's okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> Facebook. I remember when Facebook went public. Uh, you were probably a child at the time. Uh, Facebook went public in, uh, I don't know, what year was it? 2005 or whatever the heck it was. Um, and the stock didn't go up right away. The stock was hyped, hyped, hyped. It was the underwriting of all underwritings. It was going to be the greatest underwriting of all time. And I remember Melissa Lee, the the, the gal on CNBC, uh, she was calling, she was suggesting uh, when the shares didn't double in price in the first week of listing, they, they actually were under the IPO price for about a week or so, and then they recovered and slowly built up. She was actually suggesting that the board should consider firing Zuckerberg. She gave that guy five business days uh, to deliver on the stock, and then she was calling for his ouster. <laughs> uh, I looked at that and went, well, there you go. She's in front of the camera, and she's a, a, an authority on business news. Oh, yeah, yeah, one genius this gal is. Um, talk about the glass half empty reporter. This is the one. Unbelievable. Uh, she was against uh, uh, She was against Tesla. She thought Tesla was a, a bunch of hooey for years and, and, and uh, anything Tesla. Like, you think people hate GameStop shares? This gal hated everything tech. Uh, she claimed she didn't. Uh, oh, oh, no, I don't hate them. But uh, you couldn't miss the bias. It was just unbelievable. And, and, of course, some of these companies are now the greatest of all time, the most valuable of all time, the most profitable of all time. 
and she's still on the air. She's still there um, doing her thing. Uh, unbelievable. Anyway, Facebook is Facebook, and it has its issues, but it is a very well-oiled machine that makes a lot of money, uh, and they shouldn't change their name. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Bring out a new division. Bring out something called Meta. Create a new company like like uh, like uh, like Instagram is a new company, right? Um, to take Instagram and make it a public company, spin it off, spin off Meta, make it a public company like like IBM with Kendrel, make it a public company, a separate thing. Keep your mother corporation. Never mess, never mess with Mama. They're messing with Mama, and I think it's a stupid move. But that's just me. Uh, so what am I going to do? Michael is saying, you know what? I wrote Apple cover calls right before the earnings came out. I'm good with this dip. It's good for me. I'm a happy guy. Um, there you go. Uh, Cheddar, I had a Facebook account before many people laugh a lot. Had to have a, a .edu, Brucey. Um, Dale Owens laughing out loud. Uh, Cheddar Sachs, back when it was, used to rate uh, used to rate girls. <laughs> uh, uh, again, what I meant was I don't think you have looked into what Facebook and the Zuckerberg. Nobody's like, let's change our name because people won't remember. It's about a whole new business. Check it out. Yeah, I, I know they're trying to they're trying to create a whole new. They're talking about a whole new future and all that. Uh, you know, Ford never changed its name, and they went from uh, what used to be buggies that you know could have had a horse in front of it, uh, the Model T, to, uh, to uh, you know, different types of cars and trucks. And here they are coming out with electric. They're still called Ford. It, it works. Um, you don't have to change your name. IBM didn't change your name. I, I'm just saying. Uh, Nancy, I hate Facebook, but I have an Oculus VR headset and needed to sign on with a Facebook account. Ah, surprise, surprise. Yes, uh, can't avoid the old Facebook when it comes to that. Isn't that something? Um, anyway, um what is this here? Uh, Bruce, have you heard? Alex is asking me, have you heard about the new SPAC, TWNT, Turan Orbital? It's a satellite manufacturer with agreements with Lockheed Martin and AE Industrial. Curious on your thoughts. Haven't heard of it. Haven't looked into it. Um, uh, so many companies out there. Um, but uh, no, I have no no idea. Um, you know, And I don't know if they're any good or not. I don't know if they're going to be any good or not. Um, at the moment, I'm avoiding, sta I'm avoiding SPAC stocks right now. Because the SEC has a hate on for SPACs. Um, they keep changing the rules on SPACs. Um, we went through our issues with the eight SPACs that I recommended to you guys that are now eight independently public traded companies. And I mean, the SEC rules affected your SPACs even in the first quarter that they were not SPACs anymore. They still had to do write offs because the SEC made them do it. And uh, that didn't help our shares uh, for, for the first three, six months of listing after they took over their SPAC. Um, so I'm holding off on SPAC love right now. Uh, too many, uh, too many um, points of interference going on here. So I'm being careful. I am being cautious. I'm being careful. Um, Alex, it could be a great company. It could be. It could be one of the greatest companies of all time. Uh, maybe they've got some really great stuff. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm not in a position to uh, quote it. I'm not in a position to recommend it. Wheat Wild, um, thank you for this donation. Hi, Uncle Bruce. Uh, CVX published strong third quarter results, and their options are very nicely priced. Uh, a $1 out of the money call for the 19th of November, they're $2.10. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Uh, CVX, I don't follow it. Um, again, same thing. Um, just because an option is a dollar out of the money, you know, a dollar, you know, at the money, um, a one dollar at the money call, you could be right. Um, but then again, you might be wrong. It's a question of the volatility of the stock. The historical price movement of the stock is going to tell you a lot about the volatility and price movement of an option. Now, I've been talking the last two, three days, all this week, about how it might not be a bad idea to think about writing a GameStop covered call um, uh, for this Friday, uh, because uh, uh, in that 180 neighborhood, um, and some of my viewers have, have come out and said it. Uh, many of my viewers, I'm sure, are doing it, but a number of them have publicly come out and said, I've done that. I've written covered calls on GameStop. And they're going to die on Friday, and I'm mean, either going to roll them over or I'm going to buy them back. We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, but we know what the volatility of GameStop is. We we know that GameStop 
can trade from in one day can go from $180 at the opening down to 170 or up to 190 and like no one even blinks about the surprise i mean that's a 20 dollar move in one day on a stock like that and none of us even uh blink anymore we're so used to it this stock right here i don't know i don't know the the volatility of the stock but what's ta- what's screaming at me is if you're telling me that you can buy a one dollar you can pay one dollar for an out of the money call for this stock uh, or you can uh, you, you can get a one dollar on the money call for a two ten. Um, it's either very volatile or it's not volatile at all. It's one or the other. If it's really cheap, if you feel that that contract is really low priced, then uh, then the stock is not a much is not much of a mover. Well, then it isn't a cheap contract. Um, GameStop, uh, when the stock hit one hundred eighty bucks a share yesterday afternoon. There were contracts with only two days left to go in life and time that started to trade in that 3, 3, 10, 3, 20 range. They were 3, 10, all time premium, and there was only two days to enjoy it. That is volatile. Um, right now, the stock's 182.45 in the pre-market. We've got 20 minutes to go. So that contract is actually worth 245 book value right now, even though it was trading in the 3, 3, 10 neighborhood back when the stock was at 180 a share. Um, if this stock opens at 182, the contracts could be trading at 250 first thing this morning, 275. But the shares could also be trading at 181 in the in the first 15 minutes of opening here, and putting those ga- ga- those GameStop contracts at maybe 160 to 180. And so we have a scenario here where these contracts could be like 150 up to three dollars right off the get go, because we know the volatility of GameStop. This one right here, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. Um, just because th- the price looks cheap to you, there might be a real good reason for that. On the other hand, it might be also that the contract you're looking at doesn't trade very heavily. And it could be that um, the, only, the only contracts that trade heavily for this stock are, are like this Friday's and next Friday's contracts. Or it could be that this stock never has serious option players on it. The stock has never attracted a serious options following and that might also explain why the stock doesn't have much of a premium to the to the contract there's a lot to think about here when it comes to stock options um as i've said in my classes and i've said here on the air it's another entire market separate from the stock market there are correlations between the two yes the stock's value will affect value of the contracts on the contract options market but the options market is its own separate world. And there are all kinds of dogs and all stars and everything else in between when it comes to actively traded contracts, performing contracts. And then there are times, as you noticed in the last few days, and you've always noticed uh, whenever I bring it up, you folks notice stuff like, gee, I bought, uh, I was buying ME contracts when Bruce was talking about ME two weeks ago after this hedge fund manager mentioned 23andMe as a good stock. I noticed that those uh, $10 ME contracts, I was sitting on them for six months because Bruce told me to buy them when the stock was $12. Uh, I bought them for two twenty. dollars they were down to 20 cents a piece, and all of a sudden they went to 60 cents each, and the stock hadn't moved yet. Well, what the hell's going on? Well, you've noticed how options sometimes move when stocks don't move. Why? Because the option players in the options market are hot. They're getting hot for a stock, and they're getting hot for potential. Spire Global, classic example. Just the last few days, Spire Global shares have have gone up, gone down, gone everywhere, and options have really lit up on Spire. The 750 contracts, the 10s, the 1250s, the 15s, they're lighting up. They're picking up in volume. They're picking up in price, and the stock hasn't done a thing. Um, This is the world of the options market. And uh, we'd, well, um, you've got to, uh, you know, you got to keep that in mind, and you probably are. And you're obviously curious because you're asking me about this particular contract. So I can't give you a specific answer on this contract. I can't because I don't follow the stock closely. Uh, But these are thoughts I'm going to put in your head for you to consider if you're going to do anything with that contract or not. Okay, I hope that helped. 
and let's see what happens. All right. Uh, Nicholas says, I'm thumbs up number 168. There are 500 viewers, and there's only 170 likes, and I'm number 168. Thank you, all of you who are giving me thumbs ups here. We are at 181 right now, and I appreciate it. Um, I keep mentioning it from time to time. If you are able and are willing to hit the thumbs up button for this show, um, you are telling YouTube in your own unique way that this channel and this live show is worth promoting to other people who don't know we're here. Other people will come in here, start watching this show, and listen to us talk about our favorite stocks. Um, that is exposure for stocks you want to have happen. We now have 222 thumbs ups. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button. Help this channel get uh, further exposed on YouTube to new people. And they too will follow the Rocket Labs and the GameStops and the SoFi's and the Matterports and the 23andMe and the Rock and all the others that we follow. This is how you can actually help yourself. Uh, nice says I'm number 170. How about like that? GameStop moves like that on a million volume too. That's true. Um, Bruce, I've been watching Skills. 18 bucks at the start of the year spiked to 40. Now it's 11. Kathy Wood Arc just bought two million shares. Are they, they are a gaming company. Options look nice. Any thoughts? I have no thoughts. I don't know who they are. I don't know who runs it. I don't know the history of the company. I don't know uh, how they came into being. I don't know their numbers. Um, I don't know them. And um, you have to cut me a break because there are about 5,000 listed companies out there. And uh, I have my favorites that I follow closely. And some of these others, I, I just I just, I don't know. I have no idea if this is a good deal or not. Now, I know who Kathy Wood is. I know who that is. Um, but um, I can't I can't tell you, you know, what this means to the stock and how, what, when, and where. I, I really, really wish I could, but I, I can't. All right. Um, RU has joined us as a new member. How you doing there, RU? Thank you so much for coming on in here. Love this, uh, especially those of you who are renewing. Uh, Ubi, my, or uh, I'm number 162, Bruce. I'm thumbs up, 162, and I'm from Italy. Ciao, and I say ciao right back at you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I liked it twice, to be sure. Thumbs ups. Only Jesus can like twice. Uh, Samuel Highland is a new member. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for also joining the gang here. Um, the backbone of this channel is are the members, and I thank you all so much for joining in and uh, popping those green those green banners come up. I, I love seeing these. These are, these are important. Fabulous. Thank you so much. War Warren, um, good morning. SoFi calls are going to cost me some money today because, but I'm sure making a killing with my LCID calls. Well done. Um, I, you know, I hope you keep going for it. I don't know what the LCID is going to do next. Uh, welcome, Samuel. And RU says, free thinker McJones, uh, Jersey Uncle Bruce, thank you. Jersey Todd says, you got it, man. No problem. Uh, Rocket Lab, 1316, uh, down 21 cents as of last uh, quote report. Um, and uh, data suggests U.S. consumers are dipping into savings to maintain their spending. Well, you know what the good news is? They have $19 trillion in their savings account to dip into, so that's all right. Microsoft appears to be surpassed Apple as the most valuable U.S. company on Friday, uh, says a headline. Interesting stuff. Um, what else is going on here? We've got uh, SoFi pre-market uh, right now at um, 1985, down six cents or so. Uh, GameStop right now, we're watching it closely. Uh, 181.74, it looks like down a dollar eleven. So those calls, those 180 calls, are worth a dollar seventy-four book value with uh, 12 minutes to go before we start trading. 23 and Me, 11.88. Uh, 11.85 on 23andMe down 14. Uh, Matterport. I don't know what to think about Matterport. I'm having I'm having a tough time here. Um, I'm showing 19.59 now, uh, up 59 cents. Um, uh, earlier today it was showing very little volume, so I wasn't sure if this is really doing anything. But I'm glad to see this. Uh, approaching 20 bucks again, so that puts us into option writing territory. Here we go. Spire, um, I've got Spire now um, all morning. It was around 590, 585. It's 585, 590 right now, but only 6,700 volume, so I'm not showing a lot of movement there. 
Okay, uh, what else? Uh, ATIP, uh, I'm showing it at uh, about 275 or so. I, I don't think there's much news, uh, nothing yet there. I'm waiting for anything from those guys. Anything. Talk to us. Talk to us. Don't talk to us about how, how you're not making money. Talk to us about new staff, uh, new management. That's what I want to hear about. Um, Splayer says, I've heard of Kathy Woods on SoFi. That helps with the puzzle. Splayer, by the way, I'm like number 118 right on. Swiss Buddha, I'm a number 270 person. Are you telling me we have over 270 thumbs ups? We have 280 thumbs ups. 280 thumbs ups. Thank you, guys. Uh, this is beautiful. I'd love to see this. Uh, we're showing the pre-market right now. Uh, the Dow down 105. Got about 10 minutes to go. S&P down 26, NASDAQ down 137. This is a nothing burger. Um, this is uh, this are, These are small fractional drop-offs, and I don't think they're going to last. We may have an update today. We may actually turn around with an update today because if Apple, which is off, what, 5 bucks a share, and, and Amazon off 140 bucks a share, if those two stocks do that, and these indexes are only off a third of a percentage point, half a percentage point, we got a nothing burger going on here. We, we, we got a market that is so powerful and so cash rich, it's going to go higher. That's what's going to happen. Do not be surprised. Um, I can't verify this and I can't prove it to you, but I'm going to surmise that Apple today will be one of the biggest buyers of their very own stock because they're doing that share buyback program. Those shares back off five more dollars down to one forty. Uh, Apple will be the biggest buyer of all buyers. They'll be buying up every share you want to give them. The shares will then go to uh, will then go to uh, the Apple Treasury, and the certificates will get canceled, and uh, the shares won't exist anymore. So, pardon me while I drink my coffee. It's it's still warm. I have to be careful though. If I slosh it around. It splashes all over me um anyway um don't be surprised if apple is the biggest buyer of apple stock today uh there you go and samuel says i've been listening to you since you recommended vgac in february <laughs> thank you bruce samuel thank you um nicholas can we get 300 this morning can we get the 300 uh, you mean thumbs ups maybe uh 306 we're already there like, talk about happening. It's happening. Yes, I agree. Says nice. Free thinker, 80 billion a year in buybacks for Apple. Isn't that it? Uh, 90. Last I heard it was 90 billion. I also heard last night they're sitting on 190 billion cash now overall. Nicholas Maria are already there. Uh, yep, they've got a fifth of a billion, a fifth of a trillion dollars in cash. <laughs> of course, what they've done is they borrowed, I don't know, 50. 100 billion against the 190 billion by borrowing money in the US from US uh, banks at like 1% interest, if that, half a percent interest, it's a joke. Uh, they're taking that money and they're buying back their stock uh, along with their cash flow. Because if they take the 190 billion back to the United States from wherever it is overseas, and I think most of it is in Ireland, if they bring it back to America as a bookkeeping entry, they have to pay 30% tax on it to the U.S. government. Why would Apple give the American people $60 billion in cash? I mean, you, you know how many highways that pays for? Do you know how many jobs that could create? Uh, you know how many uh, social programs that could fund? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep the money in Ireland, borrow the money in the United States, keep buying back the stock rather than build factories to employ Americans. Uh, and um, uh, make the shareholders richer. Uh, it's not working too well uh, at the moment. I mean, it's not working incredibly well at the moment. But then again, without the buyback, maybe the stock would be 80 bucks right now. I don't know. Uh, but um, I find it amazing how corporate America uh, is buying back billions in stock. Well, we, I talked about this just the other day. Is like trillions of dollars of, some, of money has gone into the stocks to buy back stocks. What they're not doing with the money is they are not building brand new distribution centers. They're not building factories. They're not building engineering centers. They're not building research centers in the United States. These are American companies that are not investing in their businesses in America. They're investing in their businesses overseas. They're investing in their, they're not even investing in their businesses. They're just buying their shares back to engineer higher earnings per share. Uh, and these companies want to be known as the best America has. And they're not, uh, they're, they're actually not, they're, they're, uh, 
not helping their country out very much. Um, it sounds like they are, but they aren't. Uh, this is not made in America, okay? It dominates the American lifestyle. Uh, we all love these guys, uh, but they're not American. Um, the guys who run the company are American, but the guys who make this stuff are Chinese, and uh, they're Indonesian, and they're elsewhere. Uh, they're not from Illinois. They're not from uh, Peoria. They're not from Sioux City. They're not from Oklahoma. They're not from Texas. Yeah, there's some manufacturing in the U.S. for Apple. I, I, I grant you that, but no. Um, a true American company would be uh, Boeing. Boeing has plants in Washington State, the Carolinas, uh, headquartered in Chicago. That That's an American company. Uh, make their planes in the USA. Um, of course, uh, all the missile manufacturers are American, and uh, the bullet manufacturers and the gun manufacturers are all USA. They're all proud to be American. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, the US military buys military hardware from the USA. Fabulous. But uh, <clears throat> your dishwasher uh, is an American. It's got an American brand name on it, but it's not American. Your car a lot of your car, your truck, your SUV, a lot of those parts are not made in America. Um, now, it's true in, a, in the auto, auto sector, a lot of the cars are made in, the, in Canada and the US and Mexico because the three countries have an alliance. And I haven't got a problem with that. I don't have a problem with the North American free trade thing and all that. I haven't got a problem with that. Um, you know, Canada orders just as many American cars from it. Americans order Canadian-made cars from here. And yeah, yeah, we, we, we get richer together. And Canada sells steel and Canada buys aluminum. And you guys, you know, you guys make this. We make that. We trade it back and forth. It's great. It's fine. Um, Mexico, too. Great. Uh, the three countries are getting richer as a unit. Fantastic. But um, there are a lot of American companies that are borrowing money from bankers in order to buy stock back from the market to engineer their shares higher rather than invest in their companies and grow their companies higher. The other thing that isn't being done is Apple, instead of saying, we're not buying our stock back anymore, we're going to pay 90 billion a year more in dividends to our shareholders. We're gonna give the money to our shareholders. Rather than have fewer of them, we're gonna give the 90 billion on a quarterly basis, every quarter, 22 and a half billion dollars in dividends is going out. So the yield on the stock will go from maybe 2% to 3.5%. So instead of buying a 10 year treasury at 1.5% interest, you can buy Apple and get 3.5% on your money. That stock could go up 50% just from that move alone. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and then you know, give the earnings to the shareholders who own the company after all, uh, but uh, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Anyway, there you go, all right. But a but a but a sorry, I forgot uh, number 294 and 295. Uh, I was typing, I saw a wave coming. Uh, uh, good morning, Uncle Bruce, I'm number 320. Thank you, Nick, so much. The ultimate nothing burger is ATIP. It needs meat, um, uh, wheat wild. Thanks, Uncle Bruce, great explanation. Lots to think about. It's the options market, my friend. It is just as complicated as the stock market. It is just as complicated. Uh, Mr. Seneca, it needs a CEO, ATIP, I know. Dana, so early, it may have been a negative number. Uh, that's how early I am with my thumbs ups. I love you. Two minutes to the opening. John, Max, Carrie, ATIP needs more than meat. It needs in and out sauce. That's right. I think Bruce just found a trivia question for tonight. Uh, trivia is on tonight, seven o'clock Eastern time. Join me for live trivia on this channel and traveling with Bruce. If you're a member of this channel or the other channel, join us tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern, for live trivia. We'll be there. American card companies are having their cards assembled in the U.S. However, their parts are made all over the world. They're definitely not American-made. Exactly. Insider Man, I'm number, thumbs up number 329. And we're now at 345 on the thumbs ups. 345. Um, Mar Malo, I'm number 336. Right on, guys. Thank you so much for being the thumbs up brigade that this channel needs. It makes a difference. There are now 600 people here watching, um, getting ready for the opening in less than two minutes. What is gonna happen with our markets today? Um, we're gonna find out uh, real quick. Um, we're gonna see the ye old clapping of the hands on the floor of the exchange very shortly. They're talking about Royal Caribbean right there, down 29 cents, Jim Cramer, talking about Royal Caribbean. Uh, there you go. Um, Carnival down four cents. Royal Caribbean down 29. Norwegian up four cents. He loves cruising. I, I love cruising. Um, but um, 
uh, they're in trouble. Uh, they, they, they've got issues. So that's just, but that's just me. Uh, that's my personal opinion. What can I say? What can I say? Evan says red, white, and blue. AB, I uh, gave my thumbs up to you. Thank you, buddy. Swiss, are you ready, Larry? Uh, we're going to get the thumbs up from Larry here. We're going to get the bells going. We are the thumbs who say, nee, nee, nee. That's right. Good morning, everybody from Nazareth. David puts on RCL. Yes, yes, indeed. Royal Caribbean's going lower. That's my personal thought. Finally, Uncle Bruce, I finally made it to 1,000 shares on SoFi. Nice round number, and I'm having a nice time doing covered calls on Taking Income Weekly. Thanks to you. And I say yes. And Larry is ringing the bell right now because they're clapping. Uh, they're clapping on CNBC. They're checking you out yourself. You don't believe me. Uh, love this. Uh, it's showtime. Uh, Farragut, you got it. It's showtime. Uh, what's happened? Larry, thank you for the bells. We are opening up for trading. Uh, let's find out where the markets are headed. Uh, we'll have a dip to start. Let's see how bad the dip is. How long will the dip last? And then we'll see if we have an update because we might even have an update to the I, I'm just saying maybe. I'm not guaranteeing it. Uh, can I remember, Uncle Bruce, when you talk about stock buybacks, does that equal less shares to trade in the open market? I am. I am talking about that, my friends, exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, on time today, says Larry, I'm on time. A hungry Grizzly's clapping away here. Uh, let's take a look at the opening salvos, if we can. Um, see if we get any trades coming through here. Um, we've just got to uh, reload everything and just recheck, and let's see what uh, what we got. Uh, to Jersey Todd, thanks, buddy. Uh, donation made to the channel through PayPal. Jersey, you're awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, all of you, you know, these super chats, these donations on PayPal, you guys are great. Thank you. Thank you. And, oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, there you go. Um, oh, my God, it's Dip Day. Who framed Roger Rabbit was a good movie, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, winner. Um, Rocket Lab down 11 cents on 38,000 shares. First trade. So five. 1994 up two pennies on 341,000 shares. GameStop 183.03. Contracts have a 303 book value at this moment in time, uh, but now it's 182.80. They're only worth 280. We're down a nickel. So keep an eye on on GameStop here. This is gonna be fun. Matterport 1923 up 23 cents on 151,000 shares to start the day. ME 1190 down nine cents on 45,000 shares. Spire Global, uh, not yet trading. Haven't got a quote on that yet. ATIP, uh, I think we're at 272, down three cents on 14,000 shares. ATIP. Uh, Smart Rent, uh, <coughs> we're down a nickel, 12.93, 5,300 volume. Very quiet so far. Uh, Six Terra, I haven't got a trade yet. Uh, AMC down 29 cents to 35.52. On 696,000. Remember the days when AMC in the first minute would have 5 million trade? Now it's 600,000. It's it's a lot different. Robinhood up a dime at 3562. It's up 15 cents on 440,000. Uh, Vanic Vectors uh, down $1.83 to 271. That's the chip companies, the ETF. Um, Home Depot down 70 cents to 370 bucks. IBM down 46 cents to 125.40. The Dow, I'm showing down 13.9. That's all. I'm only showing a 13-point drop on the Dow. I'm assuming the Dow 30, they're all up and running, I'm guessing. Uh, the the uh, S&P is down 22 points. NASDAQ down 106. NASDAQ is down 0.69%. 0.69 of a percentage point. So what's that, 0.7%? S&P down half a percentage point. The Dow down 0 0.01. It's down only two points. Um Got a nothing burger going here on the down dip. Uh, now I'm showing Dow up 6.9 points. So see what see when I do this, I go, eh, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, that in plain English, that means, eh. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at something here. I want to just double check something on the Dow 30, if I can. Uh, here we go, Dow 30. Um, we're now up 16 and a half points on the Dow. And the biggest winners on the Dow right now are uh, Caterpillar up 480 a share, Microsoft up a buck 80, uh, Chevron a buck 80 higher, JP Morgan up 165, Salesforce up 140, American Express up 140, Visa up a dollar, Travelers up 82 cents, Honeywell up 82. The losers, uh, biggest loser, Apple down 539, uh, figured that would be the start of the day. 
Um, and sorry, that's in percentage terms. Pardon me. I, I should correct myself. Apple's down 353 a share as the loser. The next loser is Amgen, only down 82 cents. McDonald's down, say, 57 cents. Going back to the winners, the big winner is Caterpillar, up $2.18, or 4.5%. Uh, Microsoft up 71 cents. Salesforce up 63 cents. Chevron up a buck 56. Visa up 78 cents. Uh, those, those are the winners uh, right now. That's what I'm showing there. So it's kind of a 50-50, maybe even two-thirds, one-third, up versus down. The Dow is up 34 points. S&P down 20, NASDAQ down 113. This is a nothing burger. Uh, we're, we, we got Amazon down, yep. We got Apple down, yeah, yeah, as expected. That's about it. Um, well, let's see what happens uh, as we go forward. Royal Caribbean is up. Uh, why the face? I still have my January put. Uh, don't worry, you'll, you'll make money. Uh, it's going to go lower. Um, okay, there's the deal there. What else is going on? Um, Microsoft, like I said, up 207. Apple down 547 to $147 a share on 11.3 million. That's trading at 28 times earnings. It's a reasonable price. Uh, Tesla down two bucks. Uh, Bed Bath Beyond up three cents. Blackberry up 24 cents. Royal Caribbean up $1.49 to 85. Uh, now 85.89 up $1.64 on 200,000 shares. So well, let's see how long it can hold that before it starts to slip. Um, we'll find out. Um, Goldman up 37 cents. Uh, Amazon down $171 a share to 32.75, and that is about the low of the day. Uh, Amazon's still worth $1.6 trillion. Don't worry, Amazon's fine. They're only off like 4%. They're fine, um, but interesting day. Google down 19 bucks. Companies call it Alphabet, by the way, but you know we call it Google. Uh, Facebook uh, up three sixty nine. Uh, I don't know why people are excited about the name change. I, I don't. I don't get it. I, I don't get. It. I, I must be of a generation that doesn't get things anymore. Twenty three and Me has a commercial on VH one apparently. SoFi and Matterport both twenty bucks. Is that true? SoFi twenty o two. Matterport twenty thirteen. At the same time, this is good stuff. Rocket Lab up 11 cents. Uh, GameStop uh, 182.02 down 83 cents. Those contracts only worth 202 now. Falling. Um, interesting. ME 11.88 only down a dime. Spire 572 only down a dime. Spire traded 49,000 shares. There's no selling coming in here. Isn't that interesting? It's running out of selling. Could it go higher? Hmm. Uh, ATIP 275. Smart Rent 12.98. Sextera, 968. Well, look at that, eh? SoFi and Matterport are both 20 bucks a pop. Uh, get ready and get used to it. Uh, this is good. Nice start for SoFi. Ooh, Matterport, nice. Oh, M-E, SoFi, Matterport in covered call territory. Yep, just need SoFi to have a quick pop just long enough to get out of my calls. Uh, Michael uh, will probably run up a bit right before earnings. Rob, can the shorts bring home under 180, please, and thanks. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, Rob needs a little dip on GameStop. He needs a dip, and he's getting it. Uh, he was at 181 a moment ago. It's 182.26. He kind of needs GameStop to hit like 178, 179, and uh, he will have himself a lovely little uh, profit on his contracts. Can the shorts please bring GameStop under 180 for a minute, please? Just a minute. That's all I need. AB, uh, when SoFi and Matterport are both 30, I'm all I'm all house money from here out, even if my calls and 760 Spire lose all value. Mr. Seneca, yeah, Michael, I have 35 expiring today for SoFi, 45 for next week. Go, SoFi, go. We're up 11 cents to 20 bucks or so. 2027 on Matterport, up $1.27 on Matterport. $1.27 gain on Matterport. That is the winner, uh, 631000 Very good move there. Um, I'm happy to see it, and uh, it's overdue, and um, I'd like to see it on a, several more of our stocks, please, and thank you. Joe says, I second that, Rob. I would like GameStop also to back up a little bit so we can score these contracts. My bad. I was assuming January. Mr. Seneca, I laugh out loud. Now played some shorter calls. Um, ICID is running, says Lorraine. John, or Jen, uh, when, when should one start to take profits? Well, of course, uh, Matterport, uh, you know, now it's time to look at writing calls, uh, maybe writing 21s, 2250s, who knows? Um, SoFi, 
uh, you're up nine cents. I mean, it's not like you barn burn through the market here. We've been higher. We we are expecting, at least this guy is expecting a twenty four twenty six dollar market in the near term on SoFi. So we're nowhere near where we should be yet. It's still down like fifteen percent on Spire. Something better happening soon, please, please. Michael Jendo, weekly, bi weekly, monthly from writing calls. Just start writing call contracts to make your money now. There you go. Um, 2016 on Matterport. Isn't that interesting? Um, Rocket Lab up 21 cents to 13.58. Uh, 20 bucks on SoFi. 183 even on GameStop. We need a dip there. Uh, 11.98 on ME. Only down a penny now. Oh, ME 12.02 up on the day. Up three cents. Spire down nine cents to 5.73. Smart rent unchanged. So is ATIP. Okay, the Dow up 32 points, uh, S&P down 14, NASDAQ down 78. This is not a bloodbath. Even with Amazon and Apple disappointing, they are not bringing the markets down. Jen Doe says, perfect, thanks, Dave. MTTR 22 and a half and 25s are paying. Lorraine Lucid, she says she likes Lucid. Rob, looking like I might need to roll over today. Well, Rob, just sit tight and see. We're 184, let it run. I mean, you want it to run. Uh, it's okay. Uh, any of you who are short, uh, who are written calls on the GameStop, let the stock go. Let it go to 185. Let it go to 187, 188. Then you'll buy back these calls that you have and roll into 190s uh, for two or three weeks out. Thank you very much. Uh, the stock will will give you the trade that you need to make. But uh, you know it is running about. A little here. Let's see what it does. 183.79. SoFi, uh, 1981, just to tease us, uh, down the dime. Rocket Lab, 13.58, up 21 cents. Matterport, uh, 1996, uh, up 96 cents. ME, up 6 to 12.05. Uh, GameStop now only up 28 cents to 183.13. Funny how this thing jumps around. Uh, AB, Friday seemed like either a really, really good day or a really, really bad day, looking like the former for us. Dustin Moore, I think Facebook reorganization is helping Matterport. I uh, don't know how that would be other than virtual reality. You know, Matterport is into that thing. And yeah, maybe, Dustin, maybe. Spire taking a dive. Uh, John, a uh, new low Spire, 564. Uh, I got it at 571 right now. Uh, down 11, a uh, low of 564, but 571 last trade, I think. I think I'm up to date on that. I would love to see GameStop pop up past 200 in under a minute and hold there, but we'll see what happens. We, yes, we will. Um, got Spire at 569. People are stealing this stuff. They're stealing the stock. Uh, you got to love that. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. Matterport 2004. Um, thank you. Uh, very, very, very good. So fight 1982 down nine cents. And ME 1198. Spire 5, still showing 571 over here. Uh, yep, 571 on 100,000. Dead volume, really quiet. And uh, without volume, I have nothing to worry about. Uh, if there is no volume on the way down, the selling isn't real. That'll do my coffee right there. And now I'm moving into my cola. And I say thank you all very much for Hanging around with me today uh, for Friday, Option Expiry Day. Welcome to Option Expiry Day, October the 29th, the last Friday in October for 2021. We got the Dow up 33.9 points. We have S&P now down 12. That's recovering. NASDAQ down 82. That's not falling off the end of the year world at all. Um SP companies will still increase buybacks next year despite new taxes, Goldman analysts say. Um, and there you go. Uh, volume on smart rent is 13,600. Nothing. That's a nothing burger. Smart rent down nine cents, 12.89. Six Terra, 965 down 14 cents. ATIP down a half a penny. Spire down 12 cents to 570. Last Friday in October already. Uh, what is the best strategy when handling a stock with more or less zero volume? Um, you think long term, you think long term and, and just wait it out. Uh, let it get discovered. You're in early. Um, ME down 11, Matterport up a dollar four to 2004. So fine, 1990 down a penny, 182.80 on GameStop down a nickel. So it's come back. Does Matterport have proprietary 
technology. I, I guess within a few years, anyone with a smartphone will be able to walk into a room and 3D map it, making Matterport unnecessary. I believe they do have uh, uh, proprietary technology. I think they do. Um, they do offer a version of 3D for free, but their high-end version you pay for, and they have a growing number of people doing that. Uncle Bruce, say, hey, any plans on starting to cover new or other SPACs? I mentioned it this morning, Nathan, already. Talked about this a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm unlikely, it is unlikely that you're going to hear me, you're going to hear this guy uh, talking about SPACs, new SPACs, uh, while the SEC uh, are, in effect, attacking SPACs. I mean, the crap we have gone through the last six months has been relentless. I mean, since May, June, we, we were supposed to have all of our SPACs that I was following back in February and March, they were all supposed to be done by May and June of the summertime. They were all supposed to be done even in July. And it took until what, July, August, September, and here we are October now. And uh, these companies had to restate their financials, they had to refile all their filings, they had to spend millions of dollars and all kinds of new filing fees because the SEC just changed the rules on these guys. I don't trust the SEC. Uh, I'm not interested in coming to you and saying, oh, here's a SPAC you should look at. And then you find out that in a month after I talk about a SPAC, that it's going to take a six months longer than we thought to make a deal. Uh, it's going to take $5 million more in fees. Uh, it's going to take all kinds of disclosures about how risky they are and blah, blah, blah. And then what else do we find out? A zillion law firms uh, start to uh, sue these new up-and-coming SPACs for misleading investors uh, as if it's their fault that the SEC changed the rules overnight. I don't want to play that game anymore. I don't want to get you caught up in a scenario where you're sitting on a bunch of contracts that are expiring and losing time, your bunch of shares, and a deal is delayed. I don't want to go there. I, I'm really being careful and cautious. I'm very happy with the SPACs or former SPACs that I've recommended to you. I'm not happy with how they're doing, all every one of them. I'm happy with some of them, of course. I'm optimistic on all of them, but I'm thankful we're out of the SPAC arena now with these eight companies. But I'm not interested in talking about other SPACs right now because uh, you are at complete risk um, for a disaster at any time from the SEC and I'm not in, I don't trust these guys. I, I, I don't want to go there. So if Spire is acquiring another relative business, is it safe today? They should have a good earnings coming up soon. Shrug, I think so. Well, it'll help. Uh, you know, it, it would help if they uh, if they came across, uh, you know, obviously with Spire uh, doing what they're doing, uh, they're already acquiring the Canadian business, but the Canadian business they're acquiring is not 10 times larger than they are. And so they're acquiring a whole bunch of new shareholders. A whole bunch of new uh, people who are aware of Spire now. They've never heard of Spire before, so the awareness level just went up. Um, and, of course, Spire continues to score government contracts for, for satellite management. Um, so, you know, I think we're okay, but, you know, there are days. Uh, Rob, 150,000 volume in 15 minutes on GameStop. Is everyone asleep here? Uh, have you noticed GameStop, 180, 151? It's only one fifty one in the money now on those contracts. It's down a dollar thirty four a share. Isn't that interesting, Rob? Uh, it's coming your way. AB, all this talk about taxes one way or another is silly. They're still going to do the same thing: stock buybacks, percentage of cash haul. You get those reduced, maybe, but still, yes, they. You're right, AB. They will. Dave, growing up in Boston, I know uh, what a cup of Dunkin' Donuts is supposed to taste like. Haven't drank coffee since moving to North Carolina. I'm going to start a coffee making consultation service. Thank you, David. Uh, so she says, does M Matterport use drones to map a property? I don't know if they do. I don't think so. Oh, man, taxes went up 10%. Guess I'll stop making billions of dollars. 10% <laughs> guess I'll make zero money. There you go. Uh, so just, I think M Matterport uh, takes images from other techs. Say your phone's camera view of a room and cleans up the images. Uh, AB Lever, if you're making billions, even millions, you're not paying taxes anyway. Uh, Matterport has an app on Google Play. Uh, Swiss uh, Buda says it's free. Uh, awesome. Thanks for the explanation, Uncle Bruce. Nathan, you're welcome. A B uh, fits. Bruce, why don't companies or the uh, the uh, IR divisions talk more about the respective stock performance? 
with Spire, a massive drop in their stock seems to warrant a few words of comfort from the company. I agree, but I, I have a feeling that, I mentioned this before, that I have a feeling that the Spire people are under a gag order from their securities lawyers because they're in the middle of a corporate takeover. They're taking over the Canadian uh, Exact Earth Company, and that closes in January. This is late October, all of November, all of December, January. They close the deal. Then they're free to talk, uh, but right now they can't speak. And if they say anything too uh, detailed, uh, it could upset the existing deal. It could create lawsuits from law firms saying you're you're holding back material information. So they can't, they can't speak. Uh, Pat Merkley is saying good morning. Uh, Rob, got my 101 buy to close order in. Come on down to Papa Bear. Come on down. 180.62. They're only worth 62 cents. They're coming your way, Rob. Those options are coming at you. They're coming to you, baby. You're going to get them back real soon. Come on down to Rob. Come on to Rob Town and, uh, and let Rob buy them back. The 180 call options on GameStop uh, are coming in. Uh, let's see. What do we got right now? Um, <laughs> those are the 185s. Uh, pardon me. What are they? I can't remember what they are. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember all this stuff. I got so much to cover here. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, those are Novembers. I got to look for... Oh, I don't even see my Octobers. Oh, they don't show me Octobers anymore. Sorry, uh, Rob. I'm having trouble here. Uh, my my option chain isn't working too well, so uh, I'll rely on you to tell me how you're doing. Uh, Keenan and Keel, uh, thank you for this donation. Uh, my Lucid is up 50%. How long should I hold, in your opinion, new to channel, usually meet Kevin? Um, if you're up 50% on this thing and the stock is topped out, uh, you might want to sell now. Take your profit, sit on the sidelines, watch, wait, um, reassess. Uh, you've done well, take your dough. Um, put your dough to work elsewhere. Um, I, you know, I'm not a lucid uh, stock follower. I, I can't I can't give you my – I can't give you a detailed – opinion on lucid i can't um so you have to make up your own mind on this by the way gamestop now 179.82 those options are worthless uh way to go rob i'm sure you're going to get them back here uh so keenan um you know take your money uh cash in and say thank you winners cash checks be a winner today and then uh, let's see what happens on monday tuesday and decide what to do if you if you're going to do anything else on that stock uh, I am butting in at 102, Rob. I'm coming in there in front of you. You're going to both get out. Um, 180 is for number 12. Keep under 180 then, please. Wavy gravy. There it is. Sub 180. Uh, General Uncle Bruce, thoughts on writing a covered call on Matterport now or wait until it gets closer to earnings for a potential run-up? Um, your call. Uh, if you write a contract now, write a 20 contract, a 21, a 22.50. If stock goes up to 25, you'll roll over. Uh, what do you care? Uh, yeah, get in there. Rob, it's smooth wake. Uh, Rob, the 180s, a current bid, 166. All right on, Rob. They're coming down to you. They're coming at 179.90. They're coming. They're dying today, and they're worthless right now. So, yeah, buddy, you're in the, you're in the control position here. Uh, just sit back and, uh, yeah, let it come to you because they are coming to you. This is good stuff. Stock hit, what, 184 for the high just for a moment? 184.28, yeah, and here we are now, 179.90 uh, or so. Right on. Bill Coin, Uncle Bruce plus sunshine plus coffee equals happy faces and money. Uh, well, I like to hear that. Uh, Alexander, uh, Jesus got uh, soon uh, 1400 Spire now. How much longer I have to keep buying these dips? Soon, new buy order filled at 561. Just, just to steal this stuff. 564, last trade right now. Low of the day, 561. Good move. 151,000 volume. So th so thin. Three thinker. One of these days, shorters. One of these days, you're gonna get yours, and you're gonna get it good. That's right. The come up, come up, and it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. A uh, stock on games at one eighty thirty six. It doesn't matter. The contract's are only worth thirty six cents, and these guys are offering a one hundred one one hundred two. Take the one hundred one one hundred two sellers. Um, but let's see how it goes. Uh, right on. Beautiful job, everybody. Um, love to see GameStop option writers score on these deals. I think uh, Rob sold his at 305. He's trying to buy him back at 101 in 24 hours. Nice, nice job. Uh, easy money. Let's see how it goes. 1991 on SoFi, unchanged. Up eight on Rocket Lab, 1345. 
GameStop, 178.79. Just dropped a buck and a half. I guarantee you these guys are out. I guarantee you they're out now. Matterport, 2012 up a dollar twelve. Um uh, very good. Uh, ME 1168 down 31 cents. Spire 563. ATIP 275. Smart Rent 1276 down 21 cents. Six there down 14 cents. Put writers, me too. Way to go, Rob, says Swiss. Uh, 178.46 on GameStop down 440. I'm pretty sure, Rob and everyone else, if you've got buy orders in on those calls, I am sure you're out by now. Uh, this shouldn't be taking any time whatsoever. Um, well, well, I'm sure we'll hear from them in moments <laughs> when they get their confirmations. Beautiful job. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> the Dow up 35, S&P down 9, NASDAQ down 75. It's a nothing burger on the markets. No big deal. Uh, Daniel, big money market makers want GameStop below 175 at the end of the day. Kind of a weird feeling when market manipulation is with you on your covered calls. Isn't that weird? It is weird, Daniel. It is weird. 178.70 on GameStop, 1993 on SoFi, 2010 on Matterport. Here we go. What, do you, what direction do you think SoFi uh, might take after the earnings if the report is not good? Um, I, I don't know, uh, that boy, Louis, how the market will react. Um, uh, I just, I'm just, you know, whatever it wants to do, I'll go with it. Um, wants to go higher? Great. Wants to go lower? Okay. The end of the day, sooner or later, it's going higher to 30 bucks and beyond. It's going to do that. So let's see. 142 bid, but still dripping like a stone. Rob, just sit tight and wait. Uh, you might even want to lower your buy. You, want, you might want to go down to 56 cents. Um, now 180 on the stock. I mean, this thing is uh, uh, very capable of dropping even further. You don't know. Uh, why the face, Sammy? Why, Rob? It's jumping. <laughs> 179.91. Uh, Spire, come on, man. Flint Creek Soap. Uh, come on, Spire. 567. Come on. Let's go. Low the day, 561. Now 567 on Spire. GameStop, 179.91. Contracts are worthless. And like I said, you guys who are trying to bid 101, 102, you may want to go down to 56 cents. Just go down there. Just be the charitable guys that you are. And offer fifty six cents and take those bids away. Show those contracts, the contract players. There's no strength at a dollar. Uh, that might be another play. Up to you. It's totally up to you. Uh, one seventy nine ninety one is the price on the stock right now. One seventy nine fifty one dropped again. The contracts have no value other than time until the close today. Rob Daniel, if you can't beat them, join them. There you go. <laughs> Uh, Matterport, 2047, up a dollar 47. This is the high of the day here. Uh, 1.3 million looking really good. Looking to write one 20, 21, 22 dollar contracts. You could write 20s, you could write 19s, uh, if you wanted to. I mean, you know, it's up to you. In the money contracts plus premium, but uh, for Matterport, you could write 22 and a half and dare them to come and get you. Uh, who knows? Uh, let's see. Wavy gravy, go Matterport, go. And it is going, uh, doing very well. Very well today. GameStop, 179.65. Daniel, in the short term, I'm good with that. Bill, if you can't beat him, buy, bury him in the backyard. <laughs> right on, Matterport, 2032. ME1163. Come on, ME. Let's take a little run in here. Spire, 567. Come on, baby. SoFi, 20 bucks even. Time to look at writing options on Spire and Matterport. Start bringing in money, people. Uh, Rob, 50 cents, you say? Don't tempt me, Bruce. Uh, uh, inner, uh, inner man, uh, I have my bio rent 101. Let's see what happens. Uh, 179.96, they're four cents out of the money. And they die this afternoon. So, yeah, these contracts are dying, dying, dying. And I'm sure that next week, Friday's contracts are doing just fine, too. I'm sure they're backing off in value as well uh let's take a look at uh, 180s for next week 830 to 930 for next week's 180s um uh, i'm sure that they're uh, they're a little bit lower as well getting a bit weaker uh moved mine to 51 cents rob that's where i'm at smooth wake i'm down to 51 i'm paying 51 and that's all i'm paying uh come on and give them to me 179.99 on gamestop uh, down 287 on the day uh interesting interesting day apparently microsoft's market cap has eclipsed apple as of this morning 
Both are in the $2 billion plus range. Uh, Rob says, fine, Bruce, let's play. 55 cents bid now. Let's go. There you go. Uh, Rob, uh, nice smooth wake. Let's make some money. Uh, there you go. 180.13. They're worth 13 cents. You're still being generous at 50. Uh, you're still being generous at 50. Matterport, 2050, up a buck and a half. Look at that. Uh, 1.4 million shares traded. Matterport uh, contracts uh, could be an interesting play today uh, with this kind of a move. Love to see this bump up in price. I'm happy to see it come through like this. Um, you guys deserve a win. And Matterport is giving us a nice little bump here. Um, contracts, uh, uh, November 19th, expiry. If you want to write 2250s, you could bring in 70 to 80 cents right now. Uh, the 20s are 150 to 160. That's uh, that's about a dollar, what, a dollar, 10, 20 pro, uh, premium. Uh, not the greatest. Uh, December, um, $20 contracts, 205. 2250s, 120 to 130. For 2250s out of the money by 220 to bring in 120 of cash right now. Not a bad move there. Something to consider. Uh, Matterport, lovely to see this up here. Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, let's go back to GameStop. We're watching that GameStop closely. 180, 20, 179, 82. We're jumping around here on this uh, GameStop stock. 179, 82, out of the money for those 180 contracts. Alexander, Bruce, is Spire not allowed to speak? And do you know anything about short? I, I think they are quiet because of that takeover. I think that's what's going on. Uh, oh, I'm not done moving it. Uh, Dave, uh, Matterport uh, is very low. Would love November 22 and a half and 25. It's a little over a buck. I hear you there, David. Um GameStop, 179.91, out of the money at the moment, uh, jumping between there and 180 right now, watching and waiting to see how these contracts are going to uh, run out uh, coming into uh, late expiry. Um, let me see if I can do something over here. Uh, I can hit that there. And then if I hit that there, uh, that will pop up. I think something, yes, it will pop this up. And we are looking at um, those. I didn't want those. I wanted, oh, I can't even see today's contracts. That's interesting. I'm trying to find today's contracts on uh, on uh, games. Let's do this this way. Stocks 180.11. And, uh, well, let's take a look at Yahoo Finance, see if they're showing the option chain for today. They seem to be. Uh, the 180s, um, how accurate are we here? Uh, not accurate at all. Uh, something is not uh, is not working for me here. Um, yeah, the 180. Uh, yeah, something's not adding up let me take a look at something else nasdaq there we go maybe there maybe maybe there uh yeah 22nd that's last day. 29th here we go uh here we are uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um not sure if that's very accurate either. Uh, here we go. Um, yeah, something's not quite right. Is it me? Maybe it's me. One eighty ten on the uh, on the stock right now. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That's not that's not working for me, but in any event, let's see what happens. We need to blast through uh 2054 on that Matterport. That's what we need. Uh 2044 right now, up 144 share on 1.6 million. Good volume to start the day here on the Matterport. Thank you very much. Um you guys are tempting me to put lower 
going 160, 61 cents above you guys, insider man, inner, inner man. Uh, 180.20 on the stock now, GameStop. Uh, drops, uh, we're getting smacked with a solar flare right now. Things will be spotty. Uh, Auntie, it's you. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Rob, um, 168 bid on the 180 for today, Bruce, is what we're showing. Okay, thank you. I can't get my uh, machine to work properly. Nathan, ME getting hammered today. Uh, 11.52 down, 47 cents. Uh, we're at 13.46 on Rocket Lab, up nine. SoFi, 19.98, up seven. GameStop, 180.20, down 265. Matterport, 20.43, up 143. ME, 11.53, down 46. Spire, 5.69, down 13 cents after dropping out at 5.61. We got ATIP. Uh, looks like it's unchanged now. It was as low as 272. It's now 275. 131,000 point. Smart rent down 31 to 1267 and Sextera down 9 cents. The Dow down 1.6 points. S&P up 12, or sorry, negative 12. NASDAQ down 75. Dow just went positive 3. Oil down 30 cents to $82.50 a barrel. That's where we're at right now. Watching a number of shares at the same time. 180.20 on GameStop. Those contracts have a book value of 20 cents. Um, they died today. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, 2043 on Matterport. Uh, total volume 1.66 million today. A very good reaction to the stock. Very good reaction for the stock. A nice little recovery. Uh, I believe Matterport uh, this past week, yeah, we were as low as about 1820, 1819 at one point. So it's nice to see a $2 plus move in two days uh, back to here. That's pretty cool. And we're looking good here. Come on, SoFi says anti PC, right? 20 bucks a share, up nine cents. It's kind of come back this week, too, hasn't it? Um, it was uh, on the, what was that day? The 27th, 1919. So. Two days ago, 1919, now 20. Uh, but we were last week at 2105. Uh, so, you know, another dollar or two would be kind of in order here, would be really appreciated. Rob, who took the heck, uh, who, who the heck is buying a one day expiry contract ATM for two bucks? Geez, gamblers, unbelievable. Um, GameStop, 180.51, 180.31 right now. 180.31 on GameStop. Okay, um, 20.48 on Matterport. The high of the day for Matterport, 20.54. So six more cents from here, and that's a new high of the day. 20.49, five cents away from the high of the day for Matterport. Uh, B-Fits, do you think uh, folks are just really cautious on SoFi because of the big earnings drop last time? Getting it, uh, the recent run-up, seems like more risk. Well, you know... Uh, uh, when everyone thinks the same thing, the opposite happens. And so, um, you know, look at look at Apple. Everybody figured Apple would kill it with earnings. They didn't. Stock went down. Everyone thought Amazon would kill it with earnings. Didn't happen. Stock went down. So far, some people, not everybody, uh, thinking earnings are coming out. It's going to go down. Uh, well, maybe earnings are coming out and the stock will go up. Maybe 15 brokerage houses will recommend this stock in the next two weeks as a buy. Maybe the bank charter comes through next week. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, we'll be here. Matterport just hit new highs, 2064. See, while I'm yapping away about everything else, Matterport, 2064, 2068. No resistance. Resistance is futile. Uh, look at that. 2068 up 168 on 1 1.85 million shares on Matterport. Looking great. SoFi, 20 bucks. Rocket Lab, 1345. GameStop, 180.48. Nice. Uh, getting ready to go into casino. First person to give me a number, and I'll play it on roulette. Uh, Matterport, twenty seventy-five up a dollar seventy-five. We're getting a nice little run here on your Matterport. Me eleven fifty-three down forty-six. Spire five sixty-eight down fourteen. Atip down a half a penny. Smart rent down thirty-one. Sextera down nine. Uh, IBM down twenty-nine cents. Uh, Dow back up twenty-one now. Microsoft up a buck seventy. Apple uh, down 499 to 147.58. Over at Amazon uh, down 123 dollars. That's actually improving. Royal Caribbean is backing off. It's still higher by 79 cents. 
but it is backing off from its high of the day. It got to 86.31. It's now 85.04. It's given up a dollar 27 on its gain here, only up 79 cents now on Royal Caribbean. It's backing off. Uh, back to our favorites, Rocket Lab, 1348, SoFi, 1996, GameStop, 180.73, Matterport, 2078, high of the day, 2080 on Matterport. Looking great today. That is our, our real performer here. 2080 for the high. Now a 2075 on 2 million plus shares for the Matterport stock. Way to go, Matterport. You know, I'm up 41% on SoFi. I want more. Freethinker, 17. Anti-PC, 55. Um, 17 it is, says SVT. Liz, I think um, it's going to kill it today after the bell. Bought some extra at 109 yesterday. Great dividends, too. Deep value investing. Netflix just broke an all-time high. Always bet on black, says Freethinker. Uh, so there you go, 1755. 17 it is, says SVT. <laughs> uh, Rocket Lab, still up seven. SoFi, 1997. GameStop, 180.74. Matterport 2067 uh, up a dollar 67. Wesley Snipes passenger 57. ME uh, down 46. Spire down 15 at 567 a share. There you go. The Dow now up eight as it's jumping around a lot. Uh, SP down 9.8 now. NASDAQ only down 56 points. We're coming back on the markets. The markets are improving this morning. Uh, interesting stuff. Oh, I think Jen is here. Jen is in the hood. How you doing, Jen? Fanning You're fanning the room for me. Thank you so much. How you doing? <laughs> That's just one of the many services we it's have. It's one here. of the many positive things. Oh, Matterport just jumped again. Twenty seventy five. Matterport's Ooh. up a dollar sixty seven to twenty seventy six. Now it's coming on big time. Nice. Hit a high of twenty eighty. It's about to hit it again. Uh, it's looking really good. Um, we don't have any news specifically today, but uh, it is uh, rocking. So. <laughs> We're watching the GameStop. Uh, it's at 180.19. Those 180 Ooh. contracts are worth 19 Ooh, cents. 19 cents. <laughs> they die today. Uh, we had buyers. Uh, we have some of our viewers trying to buy them this morning at 101, 102. I mentioned go back into the 50 cent range. Uh, they're, yeah, yeah. they're worthless. They'll come to you, and uh, they're now betting, what, 50, 51, 52, 55 cents. Uh, the market is, uh, the contract was last at 160, 140, something like that. It's coming off from that three level. Uh, it's only worth 15 cents to one at 180.15 right now uh, on the uh, on the GameStop shares. There they are. They had a little up dip and then a down dip, and now a little recovery, but now a down dip again. 180.15, only 318,000 volume on GameStop. We're not going anywhere. Uh, good morning, Bruce. Uh, deep value investing. Do you recommend buying in the money Tesla calls for next week? No, no. Uh, John Anderson, good morning, Jen. I'd avoid Tesla. Hi, yeah. Jen, says Liz. Um, Rob, morning, people morning. might be closing their covered calls, sell them on spikes, close them on dips. I think news is near. No way I'd hold covered calls against my shares on GameStop right now. Too precious. John Jepson, good morning, Jen. Well, for 19 uh, cents, they're not exercising it. They're yeah, still underwater. yeah, and uh, it's now 179.91. The contracts are out of the money. The 180s are now worthless. Uh, they will go down, and um, and our our viewers will scoop them up for cheap, cheap, and make a nice buck here. I'm a happy guy for my viewers on this. Now, I heard a story about Facebook this morning. Okay, changing its name to Meta. Yeah. And a company in Canada who's called Meta Materials yeah. that had like a 20% jump on their stock last night. <laughs> also, like, wrong Meta. <laughs> also, uh, the word Meta is being used along with GameStop. There's something oh. something happening with the word Meta. Meta, what's it called? Meta. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, there was something going on there. But yeah, there's all kinds of you know cross currents going on but the stock game stop 179.91 it's not now, but those people who bought that stock yeah did they not notice the price they were paying uh, <laughs> there, there are people playing games i mean there are people uh, reaching for straws for returns i, I guess yeah but, but yeah you know, come yeah on. come on i mean come on uh i hear you rob says good morning jen 
Sure Rob, uh, if it runs, I'll just roll over in an hour. This contract will be worthless. Exactly, That's Rob. Right. Yeah. Uh, Meta, make everything Trump again, says anti-PC. <laughs> Meta, Nelson, Metaverse, Metaverse. That's that was it. it. Metaverse. Yeah. Metaverse. Thanks, you guys. Nelson is Sparky. Metaverse with loop ring. That was the other word with that was being talked around. Loop ring was being used no, yesterday. Loop, loop, loop ring. ring. No, loop, no, loop ring. ring. Fumbler sold at GameStop covered call strike 185 Tuesday for 445 expires today. Currently worth 45 cents. Woo! Yeah. Taking the four. GM Take the Gen. Four. Um, uh, GameStop the and the, uh, with, in the NFTs with Loop Ring in the metaverse. There you go. Loop Ring, baby. Oh, now they were talking about <laughs> McDonald's coming out with an NFT of a McRib. Sandwich. Oh, I don't know. No. no, serious. No, serious. No. Uh, Rob says also, I don't write cover calls on all my GameStop, even if I get bought out and it runs. I'll st I'll still be okay for a squeeze. John, laugh out loud. I sold Meta at a great profit. Um, yeah, one eighty is probably well. Max Payne is one seventy five, but if you sold for five hundred, buying back at two and three in your pocket, also closing on a dip allows you to sell again on a rip. Exactly. Farrigan, Jen, is that a buy recommendation on Meta Material Exchange Co? <laughs> Uh, anti PC gross. Uh, anti PC McRib should be outlawed. David, love a McRib a couple of times a year, says David. There you oh, go. No. Uh, 179.69 on GameStop. <laughs> GameStop's going down. It's going lower. Those contracts will be worthless. John Jepson, I agree. Oh, man. Oh, man. Matterport, uh, Matterport 2045, uh, down a little bit from the high today. ME eleven thirty three down sixty six cents. Spire five sixty seven down fifteen. Uh, ATIP down three cents. SoFi nineteen ninety five. This morning, um, SoFi and Matterport both broke both broke the twenty dollar barrier both within broke. a minute of each other. They broke, both broke, broke, both broke, 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 broke twenty. <laughs> both broke. Both broke. Anti PCs laughing. John is going yuck, McRib yuck. I know. Matterport twenty fifty coming on again. High the day twenty eighty. Wow, what a day, what a day. 160, 179.62 on GameStop. Those contracts are 32 cents out of the money now. Yeah. Uh, AB, whenever the McRib is back, high schools and gyms are missing their yoga exercise mats. Coincidence? You decide. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Anti PC, if you only knew what was in a McRib. Well, I think um, we have an indication of what's in that McRib. Uh, yes, let's get those thumbs ups over mats. 500. <laughs> How many thumbs ups have we got now? 423 thumbs ups. Oh. You guys are awesome today. Thank you so much for helping us out with well, those let's get thumbs you a bagel ups. And, and see if we can't help it. Uh, say that ten times fast, Uncle Bruce says Nelson. <laughs> yeah, where are we at now? GameStop one seventy nine sixty two thirty eight cents out of the money. Uh, woo hoo! Love it. It's a sea of red out there. Dow's down twenty seven now. SP down fifteen. Yes. Nasdaq down seventy five. Inflation numbers. There you go. Uh, what kind of bagel today? Well, I don't know. Sesame Seed bagel. I'm thinking ham, egg. And Can I have your glasses for a moment? Take them. There's something there. Yeah, it's, there, a goober. it's, it's bugging you got her. Got a goober. She's got a goober. She's not doesn't like the goober on the glasses. Don't like goober. You can't have no goobers on no glasses. Okay, man. There you go. Matterport backing off a bit. Twenty twenty nine. A little profit taking. Hit twenty eighty for the high. A little shot there. But uh, let's see if we get another shot. Twenty thirty two now. You never know with this stuff. You never ever know. There you go. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. It's still kind of, you know. Is it? Did yeah. I just smear it around? Well, let's try this little trick with this little okay. cloth. I don't know. Sorry, and I wasn't paying it at all attention to what you were saying. So it's the sesame seed. Ham, egg, seed. cheese. Oh, ham, egg, S cheese on sesame seed or everything? Yeah, sesame seed. Sesame seed. <gasps> yeah, oh, oh, the whole and and, egg. And, and some dip and ketchup to dip in. The whole encha you want, delata. You want ketchup to dip it in. Okay. Bake so Ham and egg and cheese with ketchup on okay. the side. Yeah. So just yeah. butter on it, no mustard mayo. Right, Got right. It. Yeah, that way I can dip it in ketchup. And just a pile of lettuce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we seem to have a failure of communication here. Uh, we have a little communication problem. Okay. Uh, Mr. Seneca, Matterport calls um, for November 19. 20 bucks are up 180% in three days. ME calls, November 19, uh, 12 and a half are up 230% in three days. Thank you, options trading. Couldn't be doing this if you did. If you did introduce me to options, Bruce, I couldn't be doing this. Fantastic, Mr. Seneca. Martin McRib, ten percent meat, but one hundred percent delicious. Farragut, ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. John, you you got a McRib on your glasses. Laughing out loud. Wow, everything is turning red. What's going on with the market? Asks Anti PC. Uh, 
Matterport, 2025 up a dollar twenty-five. Look at the GameStop, 179.27. Those contracts are worthless. Nelson, who put the ketchup on our stocks? So red right now. We have Rocket Lab down four cents at 1333. SoFi 1990 down a penny. GameStop, 179.27, down 358. Matterport up a buck and a quarter still at 2025. ME down 81 cents to 11.18. Bargoon, Spire, 570 down 12. It's actually coming up, but it's still uh, still down. ATIP down four and a half cents to 270. Bargoon, Smart Rent, 12.76 down 22. Uh, Goldman Sachs calls it an $18 stock. Six tear up down 11 cents. Something's brewing over there. AMC down 50 cents. Robinhood down 23. Vanek down 79. Home Depot up 270. IBM down 48, the Dow down 25, Microsoft up a dollar 99, Apple down 549, Tesla up 988 to 1086, Bed Bath Beyond down 18, BlackBerry down a dime, Royal Caribbean down 18 cents, Royal Caribbean is now negative at 8407, low of the day 8397. We have begun to go into the red with this report today that they lost. 1.4 billion in the last quarter, which is 100 million more than expected, and uh, I'm thinking it's going to go lower. Down 21 cents now on Royal Caribbean, 84.04. Down 21 cents. Goldman down 289 at 411.93. That's where we're at here. A lot of red. SoFi just went positive, plus one at 19.92. GameStop, 179.19. I'm wondering, guys, how are you doing on those contracts? Loopring is way bigger than most people seem to understand, says Freethinker. I've been studying NFTs. Digital ownership has purpose beyond artwork and characters. Most judge books by covers and McRib mostly horse. <laughs> Nick, Uncle Bruce, I had a 500 um, uh, X uh, steel, U.S. steel, and I wrote November 19 strike 26. Am I allowed to sell X, um, the holding, or will it be a box situation? Yeah, you can't sell the stock when you have contracts written against it. You got to buy your contracts back if you want to sell your stock. If your stock is going up, what you do is you buy your options back that you've written and you now write new options higher in exercise further out in time. So if you sold a contract for a dollar and you got to buy the contract back for say $2, you want to write a new contract for $2.50 to $3 further out in time, higher up in, in exercise price. Check your options chain for that. That's called the rollover, and you're bringing in more money, and you're raising the exercise price of the takeout on your contract by eliminating the old one. That's the plan. Hold on to the stock. Rob, Bruce, don't clean your glasses like that off screen in your lap. It looks uh, suggestive. Uh, Dustin, anti-PC, end of the month plus big uh, caps taking a profit or trimming positions. Anti-PC, laughing out loud. Rob. Um, uh, Rocket Lab, 1340, it's green. SoFi, 1995, it's green. GameStop, 179.39, those contracts are worthless at 180. Matterport, 2031, it's green. ME, 1126, still negative. Uh, Spire, 570, down 12 cents, but they were as low as 561. We're coming back. ATIP, unchanged at 275. Uh, we bounced back from 270 to 275 in our hurry. Uh, we're unchanged. Smart rent only down now 14 cents. We were down to 12.60. We're now 12.84. Big bounce back here. Six tear up down 13 cents at 9.66. Low of 9.63 today. So we got some green coming back into the market right now. Apparently, we'll see how this all plays itself out. 139.38 on GameStop. The 180s have no value. They die this afternoon. Worthless. The way it's looking at the moment. 2038 on Matterport. Looks like it's coming back up a little bit here. Um, it uh, dipped a little to the 2020 range. Now 2036 on 2.44 million shares today. Matterport is the big winner today for a lot of players out there. Very interesting day uh, going on here. SoFi 1998 up seven coming back on. The high of the day for SoFi 2016. And we're at 1998 right now on 2.6 million shares. Uh, not a lot of selling came in on, coming in on this stock. ME, 11.32, a low of $11. Uh, we've bounced back $0.32 cents on ME in about 10 minutes on 1,090,000. So that's getting interesting on ME all of a sudden. 
a bounce back uh, coming in quickly on ME. Uh, Matterport 2040 coming back on as well. Uh, 179.54 on GameStop, still 46 cents below 180 on those contracts that are out of the money. So far, 19.99 up eight cents. We're a penny away from 20 bucks. And Rocket Lab 13.38 up one penny a share. There you go, guys. That is the dealio right here, right now. The Dow down 15, S and P down 13, Nasdaq down 70. As we speak, Matterport 2040, GameStop 180 on the nose, 180 on the nose. Uh, contracts are worthless right at this moment in time. So far, 1998 uh, up seven centinos. Spire 571 uh, down 11 cents, coming back a dime from its low. It's coming on right now. Only 229,000 traded on Spire. No sell off of volume, no volume sell off here. We've been trading millions the last few days, and we're not getting a sell-off in mil of millions of shares. These shares are drying out. Uh, we're drying out of stock on Spire, and I think a short squeeze is in play big time, and there could be a run on this thing, a big, big run. Get ready. Anytime. It can happen at any time. Okay. There you go. That That's where I'm at. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, anybody got any questions? Let me know. Uh, how are you guys doing on your options? Are folks, uh, are any of you writing any uh, SoFi contracts? Are any of you writing Matterport contracts? Today might be your day. Bringing in fresh cash into your accounts. Congratulations, all of you. Um, AMC is now at $34.69. Uh, down 54 cents, uh, not looking good. It had a positive start to the day. AMC started off at 35.60, um, looked okay. It was up like 40 cents, now down 54 on only 5.6 million shares. AMC is giving it up. They're, uh, they're, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. We've had the summer season already. Now we're into late October, November. We don't get the hits. We don't get the big blockbusters for another three, four weeks. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how that all works out. Robinhood under pressure, 35.22 down 25 cents. Can't believe it's even here. Uh, should be about $15 a share. Vanek down 40 cents. Home Depot up 210, hanging in there. IBM down 43 centinos. We're down 38 points on the Dow. Uh, Microsoft 326 still climbing up 240. Apple will not give up any more ground. It's down 554. Um, Apple reached the low of 146.41. It's now 147.04, and it has stopped dropping in price. <coughs> Could be, possibly. A good contract to consider <coughs> a long-term call option on Apple into next year. Tesla up 10 bucks a share right now. Royal Caribbean uh, up 20 cents, trying to come back on. Not going to work. Uh, not going to work. Um, Matterport, 2019 now up $1.19. GameStop, 179.75, backing off again. SoFi, 20 bucks. We're back to 20 bucks on SoFi. Bruce, let's say ATIP uh, releasing earnings and showing based on assets that are worth three dollars, and they increased earnings year over year. Do you think they'll take they'll take a little, uh, zit, or do we need to hear an increased price target on ATIP? What we need on ATIP, apart from new management that is being hired right now, new CEO, is we need the company to continue to sell to tell us that we are increasing our staff levels again. Uh, we're increasing our daily visit counts to our centers. That's the big news. Um, if they come back and say to us, we're going to hit a new record for the number of people coming into our uh, physiotherapy centers, and we've added additional therapy centers to our collection, and we're up, applying, uh, adding new uh, new uh, 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 therapists to our headcounts. All of that is positive, 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 positive. That's higher cash flow, higher earnings per share, per dollar, per center. This moves the market. This this could take them back to seven to ten bucks. Just that. So there is a ton of upside here. A ton of upside. This ATIP is. Um, a giveaway at 274. It's an absolute giveaway. Matterport needs weekly options. 
it'll be it'll be uh shorts having a hard time today bringing GameStop down paper is drying up GameStop 179 94 down 292 uh so it'll go back to 150 today laugh out loud Nick Uncle Bruce I had 500x and I wrote November 19 uh strike at 26 now am I allowed to sell X the holding or will be a box situation yeah you cannot as I've said already you cannot sell the stock if you've written calls against it can't do it Robin uh, Robin Hood valued at zero in the McJones scale. Uh, Irico ran out of characters. Appreciate you were able to decipher that question. Ha uh-huh. <laughs> Right. I'm doing what I can. Thank you, Jen, so I'll much. You for your oh, look at that. That's awesome. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we'll take that out. Thank you. We're done with that. Look at that. <coughs> at that. Bagel. I might have to oh, break man. down and buy a little egg frying pan. I miss my. I know you miss it, but this is yeah. pretty good. I mean. Look at that! You got the you got the cheese there. You got the egg. You got the ham. But you know the egg's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle on there. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's gonna be a mess. Things, it's gonna be ugly. Fall. Yeah, I I got me one of these. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly. We're gonna do what we can. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try. Um, yeah, you know, um, um, LL four three two bagel 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 bagel. <laughs> uh, Jen Jen makes the best bagels ever. Oscar feast time drops. Jen spoils you, Uncle Bruce. Uh, Larry, bagel, 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 bagel. That's what it's all about here, kids. There's the ketchup right there, and uh, we're ready to roll. Let's let's grab this one right here. It's gonna be warm. Let's grab this one right here. We'll, we'll dip it in the ketchup. Dip it in. Yeah, we got dipped in there. Right it's there. a little bit there. Okay. Let's see what happens. I don't know how it's gonna go. Yeah, I don't know. That there, there you go. <laughs> Just drop that python jaw. Open it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, pretty darn tasty. There mm. you go. Man. There you go. Oh boy. Okay. So good. Oh, so good. You gotta love this. Mmm. Thank you, Jen, so much. Mmm. Like she said, the egg is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's just falling apart in pieces here. Mm. So good, so good, so good. Mm. GameStop, 180.06. Contracts are worth six cents each. Mm. Mm -mm. Wonderful. So wonderful. Matterport 2031. Is it coming back up a little bit? It looks like a little bit. Um, Spire 568, ME 1138, GameStop 18006, SoFi 1994. We're all over the place. We're down 58 on the Dow now. We're down 16 on so on S and P. We're down 81 on Nasdaq. There you go. Okay. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Real nice, baby. Mm. He's a dipper. He's a dipper. Mm. So good. Matterport, 2040. Coming on. Coming on. GameStop, 179.84. Okay. <laughs> With all the covered calls in here, maybe you should put out that ketchup uh, dipping off at 330. <laughs> Why did my account just go green? The power of the bagel. That's why. That's why my account went green. Oh my. 179.84 on GameStop. We're backing off. Oh boy. This isn't easy. This is not easy. Mm. Headline. 
under the um, under the duh designation, um, you want to be the Halloween hero of your neighborhood? Hand out full size candy bars. Duh. <laughs> That's a headline. People get paid to write this stuff. It's unbelievable. Twenty forty three on the MTTR. You folks with 100 shares of GameStop are in such a good position. I'm very envious. DQ gives out full-size candy bars every year. <laughs> Matterport going up. 2049. Okay, Uncle Bruce. I just sold 17 SoFi 2150 covered calls for next Friday. I got a 30 cent premium. I used those gains to buy five more Spire February. 2022, 750 contracts. This is how you do it? <laughs> wow. I guess. I mean, the stock is 1994 on SoFi. You're running 2150s that are out of the money by a buck and a half. You get the 30 cents. Um, you took that dough. You picked up these contracts for Spire for February. You don't need a lot of movement to make money on that one. But yeah, okay. It can be done. Nick, Uncle Bruce, um, Steel, U.S. Steel, most manipulated stock. It was a bag holder. And I've been writing covered calls after our meeting you opened. Uh, I've been collecting dollars on the stock. Well, I appreciate this day. I got out of it completely with a $7,000 profit. It's going, Nick. Nice going. I like to hear that. Oh, beautiful. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, Sharon, you're awesome. I have full size. Who's he, what's it, bars to give out? We bought them on our trip to Hershey. Oh, man. Are you going to be popular up there? Oh, man. Uh, Erico, DQ, some, same here as kids. It was like having insider info, knowing where the houses, where the house was on the block that handed out the full bars. I love being that house now. <laughs> I know you're not a tax guru, but are the profits of, are profits of options based similar to the stock? I think it's called capital gains, uh, depending on where you live. Um, Martin, uh, I'm pretty sure all realized gains are taxed equally. Vash, uh, ATIP wants to keep going down. I'm, I keep picking up. I'll probably need physical therapy afterwards. <laughs> 273 down uh, one penny today. Uh, buy it up and steal it. Spire 569, ME 1147 down 52 cents, Matterport 2047 to 2049, GameStop 180.56, it's jumping around on us, SoFi 1995, article exactly. Uh, Nick, I know you get 70% uh, only on a super chat and the rest goes to you know where. I'm sending a donation on PayPal, so 100% goes to you. Nick, thank you. Uh, we love those PayPal donations. We really do. Thank you. Cheers to you. Make money, buddy. Oh, fantastic stuff. Um, uh, Freethinker, I keep my covered call premiums or dry powder equivalent on deck in case it is a, what, if I want to do a rollover. I wouldn't consider them gains until the contract is expired. Well, it, it's all up to each of you individually how you want to do it. Uh, it's all okay. All right, I'm going to eat the second half of this bagel. If I can get it, if I can pick it up, it's 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 not cooperating with me. Here we go. Mm. This isn't easy. This is not easy. It looks easy, but it's not. Mm. Mm. G2, Eric, go right on. I still remember this. The house on our street gave out full-size bars. We always went there first so they wouldn't run out. I always went there first. There you go. 
You betcha, baby. You always go to the house with the full-size bars. Mm-mm-mm. My girl, Jordan. Uh, that and the houses with the haunted house in their backyards. You always went to those, too. They were always fun. GameStop, 180.31. Matterport, 2050. Coming back. Mmm. Mmm. In the nice parts of Newport, Rhode Island. They used to give out one in five dollar bills. <laughs> we went a few times. <laughs> go to the house, run home, change, come back, go to the house, run back, change, go. <laughs> I'm gonna wear ten costumes tonight. I'm gonna pick up between ten and fifty bucks over at that place. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Got to do it right, Andy. You got to do it right. Uncle Bruce, for us long-term on SoFi, is it time to start buying contracts for summer 2022 and on during these sweet dips? I figured once the bank charter comes in, the third quarter are solid pops. Well, that's a strategy you could employ. Uh, certainly, um, nothing wrong with that. Um, if that's uh, your plan, it's, it's an okay plan. I don't have a problem with that plan, uh, whatever you think. Um you can write calls uh, against the stock, do rollovers, or you can buy calls out, go out this next summer and buy up calls yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a bagel crumbling in my hand. Holy heck, I travel there for a $5 bill neighborhood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I never knew anyone gave up money. Do you still know the address? I'm going there right now. That's right. I'm going there, baby. Hmm. <laughs> AB is saying, asking, if ATIP, for example, is 274, and I want to buy thousands of this stuff in one order, if I put in a 280 limit order, will I get filled up to as, as high as it gets pushed into that block? Well, yeah. I mean, if you put in an order, you can put in a market order and you know pay unlimited for what it's out there until you're filled. You can put in a limit order, you know, Hundred thousand. I want to buy hundred thousand uh, with a one with a two seventy five limit um, or two eighty limit, uh, whatever you want. If the if the the in my time we get an order like that, um, our desk trader would get you know broker would come to the desk trader and say I need a hundred thousand shares of ATIP with a two eighty limit. The desk trader is going to call the floor say what's the market on that thing, and the floor trader will say. 274, 275, 273, 274, whatever the market. The desk trader will say, what kind of, how much is out there? Like uh, up to 280, what, how much can we get? And the floor trader would know. He said, well, I already know that, um, you know, the broker over there and the floor trader over there, they got 20,000, he's got 30,000. There's 50,000 at least available up to 276, 278. 280, there's like eight sellers combined, probably 30,000 more. Here's your order. I need to buy a hundred thousand with a two eighty limit. Try to get it, you know, for less. The floor trader will will approach the sellers and start taking out stock. And as he buys the two seventy five and the two seventy six stock, he doesn't yell out. He's prepared to pay two eighty. He's slowly buying up stock. There are times where the two eighty sellers will come down to him at two seventy six, two seventy seven, and say, "I got ten thousand two seventy six. Another guy might yell out, "I got twenty thousand seventy seven. If you want some." And he might wait a minute or two, and then I'll take 10, I'll take five off of you. Um, he might then back off and only bid 276 again. 
he might not even go to 280 right away, knowing he can. He won't do it because he understands there is stock flying around and drifting around. There's all kinds of paper available, and it might take 10, 15 minutes to get a fill. On the other hand, he starts buying up the 275, 276 stock, and he gets uh, he hears someone yell out, 100,000 for sale at 277, and he'll yell out, bought 60,000 at 77, and that fills him right up, and he's done. The guy selling at 77 got rid of most of his stock, but not all of it. The guys at 78, 79, and 80 are out to lunch, not knowing that theoretically they might have been able to get out had this buyer been aggressively buying. But because this floor trader is a wise floor trader and is patient, he was able to save the buyer thousands of dollars by patiently picking off stock at 75, 76, 77 on the buy side. But that was my time. That wasn't my time. It's different now. Matterport 2029, GameStop 18060. Uh, good morning, Uncle Bruce, says JC. When you were actively trading for yourself, what technical analysis did you use to determine good entry points? I have heard that Fibonacci retracements is a good one. Your thoughts? I have no idea what that is. I don't even know what that means. Um, I just explained what I used to do. Uh, DQAB, you can put in. 274 fill or kill try to get all the shares at 274 that's right i'm prepared to buy um 100 000 to 274 fill or kill if the if the offering has 60,000 shares you're going to get 60,000, and then the rest of the order is canceled and you come back and say got you 60 at 274 your balance is dead <coughs> that's your fill or kill mm. other times uh, the buyer goes out there and yells. Again, this is the old days when you used to yell on the floor. Um, hundred thousand. I'm, I'm buying hundred thousand two seventy four, and there are five traders that yell at him. Sold you on ten thousand. Sold fifteen. Sold you twenty. And he's just writing it out, writing it out. And he goes, "Okay, kill, uh, kill the rest. Dead on the rest." And uh, he uh, bought sixty thousand two seventy four from three or four buyers, and that's it. That's that's the way it used to get done. There's also limit all or none to keep you from getting partial fills. That's true. There's the all or none. PC, 100 years ago. That's right. 100 years ago, back in the day when I was a child. <laughs> yep. When I was a young whippersnapper. Oh, boy. The Dow just went positive, and it just went negative. Just about done this here, Bagel. Boy, that was good. Dow's positive again. Up four. One eighty eighty four on GameStop. Mm. That bagel was delicious. Delish. GameStop, 181.37, going up. That's okay. Stock wants to go up, go up. We'll do rollovers. Whatever you want. No worries. Matterport, 2050, coming on again. Coming on again. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Austin is saying, without the Matterport surge, Osti Cakes would be taking a bath today. Uh, Grant Savage, this Halloween, I'll go trick-or-treating with my kids. Seems some folks are giving out candy laced with weed. I want that candy. Got to get it all. I need it all. Uh, Auntie Rocket Lab, too. Uh, Rocket Lab up 21 cents at 13.58. SoFi, 1983, down 8. GameStop, 181.83, down a dollar two. Matterport, 2048 now, 2049. 148 gain. ME 1132 uh, down 67 cents. 
Low of the day, $11. ME traded 1.3 million today. Aspire, 565. Low of the day, 561. ATIP, 273, down a penny and a half. Smart Ren, 275, down 23 cents. Low of the day, 1260 there. Six, six Terra, down only three cents to 976. Low of the day on Sextera, 9.63. It's down only three cents now. It's coming on. AMC down 59 cents. Robinhood down 37. Vanek down 12. Home Depot up, uh, sorry, Vanek up 12. Home Depot up 316. IBM down 22 cents. Dow is up 22 points. Uh, Microsoft up four bucks to 328. Apple down 533 to 147. Tesla up 13 dollars. Um, Royal Caribbean down 14 cents. Goldman Sachs down a buck ninety six. Okay, there you have it. Uh, Thirteen sixty four up twenty seven on Rocket Lab. Rocket Lab hitting the high of the day here. I think uh, just about the high of the day right now. Three hundred and three thousand volume. That's all on Rocket Lab. GameStop one eighty one twelve. Okay, um, <laughs> Uncle Bruce. I accidentally bought back my one hundred eighty GameStop expiring today at market price, which is. 171. Good idea to sell new contracts on pop or wait until next week. Well, if there's a pop, the stock pops to 183, 184, or right 185s for next Friday. You might want to do that. So, yeah, keep an eye open for that. 18112 right now. Uncle Bruce, I didn't get the short squeeze theory on Spire. It doesn't seem to have that many sheer shorts. What am I missing? Um, I, I really think that what we're missing here is what we can't see. We cannot see the derivatives trading going on on Spire. We don't know. We don't see for sure how many shares are, are, are shorted through the options market. We do know and we are aware of heavy, heavy options activity from a month and a bit ago that really reflected to me from my angle that there was a serious attack going on in this stock. It's been held here. Uh, I think artificially for now two weeks. Again, this I, I can't I can't take you to a site that says you see that that right there shows it right there. You 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 have to be just you have to feel it. You have to observe this market. You have to understand how this stock reacts. It's a ten dollar spac deal that is being held at five sixty six. That that is a manipulation of this stock. I. I I believe that with a million a day, two million shares a day, up to four million shares a day, this thing is still under 10 bucks a share. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. What's wrong is it's being held up. It's being held down. It's not being allowed to go. Uh, there's, there are forces at work here who want the stock super cheap, and they're getting it. And I think they're taking advantage of the market where the insiders of the company can't speak right now. <clears throat> they're in a lockup period. They're, they're being told to keep quiet. It's just my guess. It's just just this old man uh, with forty years experience just sharing his thoughts. Uh, but boy, this thing looks fishy, really fishy down here. A B going by Twisted Sister music videos. <clears throat> if your parents are squares, D Snyder and crew will show up to your house and kick their butts and let you rock. Good marketing. That's right. I want to rock. That's right, baby. Uh, thinking about starting a business where I sell you a widget for fifty percent down with a promise to deliver within a week, and then I move to another state. 100% profit. See, I don't give it to you. Uh, got QS at 25, doing great. I have no idea what that is. Smoothie. I have my GameStop rollover ready just in case. 182.50, November 5s for 4 bucks credit. I'm ready to go. Do uh, you want to hand it to me? Spire went down. My options go up. Mmm, and that's something. Uh, holding covered calls over the weekend on GameStop. If they have news over the weekend, that's risky. So what? You do a rollover on Monday. So what? Stock opens at 205. You don't care. You're happy. Your stock's up to 205. You're going to do a rollover at 210s. Stock goes to 250. You're going to do, do rollovers at 260. Stock goes to 340. You're going to do rollovers at 360. It's okay. It's okay. You don't mind. It's all right. Is it cool to give walnuts for Halloween? Free thinker depends on who you ask. The kids might return to hurl them at your house. Ah, Kareem, something is definitely wrong. Bruce. Something is definitely going on here. Uh, Spire, 567 down 15 cents. That's where we're at. Uh, ME, 1137 down 62. Matterport, 2074. High of the day was 2080, not too long ago. Um, that Matterport is looking good. 
did we hit a new high here in this last run? Uh, 295. We just hit 295 on your Matterport. A new high. We're rocking and we're rolling. It's looking great. Uh, nice. Yeah, okay. Cool bean stuff. Um, 279 right now on Matterport. Up 179. Thank you very much. Um, the Savior is crying. Um, volume now on Matterport today. 3 million shares. Uh, this is looking good. This is looking really promising. You could be looking at writing options here. Uh, you could be looking at writing contracts. Uh, Rocket Lab, 13.66, up 30 cents. It is at the at or near its high of the day of 13.73. So far, 19.81 down the dime. GameStop, 181.15. Matterport, 20.78. ME, 11.39, cheap. Spire, 5.68, manipulated. ATIP, 2.73, bargoon of all time. Smart Rent, 12.69, down 29 cents. Coming on a little bit, but now backing off a bit. Six Terra, only down four cents. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's the way the market wants to be. Exactly, Bruce. Smooth way. Eric, Uncle Bruce, what past companies have you seen similar situations like Spire, other than a gut feeling? Uh, many, many, many times. Some some last hours. Some of these last days. <clears throat> a few last weeks. But eventually the, the gig is up. Uh, eventually the gig is up. Aspire isn't on fire. No, it's not. It's not on fire. Uh, but it's also not falling out of bed either. It's off 16 cents a share. Is it off a dollar sixty, two sixty? No. It's down 16 cents a share. Uh, nothing to worry about here. Uh, this is a, it's a bargoon here. This is one to acquire. Uh, ATIP two seventy three. It's a bargoon to buy. Two hundred eighty five thousand traded on ATIP today. Spire volume, 302,000. It's a nothing burger. Uh, down only 15 cents a share on uh, ATIP. Uh, down one and a half on ATIP. Down 14 on Spire. Uncle Bruce, what, what really happened to Spire? What, why did it go down? I mean, can you really tell us exactly what happened? Could you, could you get into the mind of the criminal gang that, uh, you know, Hans Gruber and his guys? Can you, can you give us the dirt on this? And then can you guarantee that if I buy it now, that in an hour I can double my money? Because if you can do that, I'm in. I'm I'm an investor. I'm I'm with you, buddy. Uh, Carol, Uncle Bruce, I, I have $15 call strike, 12 and a half ready up, 172%. Should I sell and buy the stock or roll them? Uh, what should I do? Um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm wondering, what stock are you talking about, Carol? Uh, MTTR, uh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I just noticed that, Carol. That's okay. Um, you got a fifteen dollar. Uh, you have fifteen twelve and a halves, right? Okay. What should I do? There you go. Okay, so you're at twenty seventy two on the stock. The stock is rocking and rolling. It's up one seventy three. We're over three million volume. We're hot, hot, hot. And you're looking good on your contracts. Obviously, uh, you're in the money now. Five seventy two a contract uh, plus time premium. Obviously. Uh, way to go. Um, anytime you want, you can do rollovers. Uh, either one, sell these for a big fat profit and pick up maybe 1750s further out, um, uh, 20s further out and get more of them. That's one. Or you buy $20 call contracts, further life, cheaper than what you're selling these for you get 15 of those and the rest of the cash you just sit on or you sell these contracts for a big fat profit and just buy up the stock get yourself several hundred shares i hope i would have to think that at uh, that 15 calls at now what at least seven dollars a piece uh you got yourself uh, 10 plus grant you can buy 500 shares of this stuff i mean you, you should be able to have enough stock to start writing options on this that might be your next move to spin out of the contracts and get into the stock and start writing covered calls and now bring an income in from this invest in this investment um anytime you want yeah that can be done um nick i loaded up on spire 10 grand now with the x profit uh right on spire 568 down 14 cents uh, a hungry grizzly there was a stock sell by the corporation that sparked those fears as far as i can tell okay yeah carol expiration uh 121 
uh, 22. So January, you have January contracts. Uh, that are doing really well here. Obviously, they're like seven, eight bucks each. You're doing really well. Uh, nice, nice going. Uh, Orion, I just sold four $25 covered calls on Matterport for 50 cents each. Uh, did I do all right on that? Um, well, you brought in $200, uh, offering your stock at 25 a share. Um, I I like it. Uh, Matterport, yeah, 27. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I like the way he says... Uh, Ings goodbye summer. So I like the way he says whatever he says, however he says it. The lower the price of a share, <clears throat> the more every cent matters percentage wise. I have always wondered why you always use the money a share has increased or decreased instead of percentage. Why is that? Why 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 is it that you have so little hair here and you comb your hair this way versus this way? Why is it that you sometimes will do this and not that? Why are you the way you are? Uh, because I'm a very peculiar kind of person, and I have my style. Uh, Carol says thumbs to you, Bruce. Associates, two hundred, uh, uh, number two forty-eight. By the way, I'm number two hundred forty-eight on the thumbs up scale. Just, just so you know. Well, right now we're at four hundred and sixty-three thumbs ups, and I want to say thank you to all of you out there who've been kind enough to throw me some thumbs ups today. We really appreciate them. We need them, and we love them, and we want more. Uh, so I say thank you to every single one of you out there who have been uh, helping us out. We we love you for it. It's it's awesome sauce stuff. GameStop one eighty ninety one. Those contracts are only worth ninety one cents. Uh, interesting stuff. Um, thanks so much, this Carol, and you are welcome. A uh, screwy a uh, screwy Louie rips says he's a new member. Uh, welcome aboard this channel. As a member, I love it. We're having a good day today with memberships. So thank you, everybody, for uh, renewing and uh, piling in here. We love you guys. Thank you. Uh, the 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 ink uh, the the yank uh, Oscar. I think Uncle Bruce's watch list is targeted is targeted because he has a big following of GameStop holders. So short bears can leech money out of that crowd, which helps their GameStop fight. But my tin foil is tight. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, welcome. Uh, you know, screwy rips. Um, AB, Bruce, would it be insane to dump my Matterport and YOLO into Spire paper? Um, well, you know, you, you, you got to make up your own mind what you're going to do, AB, and how you're going to do it. I, I, I you know, I, I just like what I like. Freethinker, welcome, Screwly. Um, uh, Associates, Uncle Bruce, it's not criticism. I am genuinely curious. Uh, well, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're curious, and, uh, you know, um, I do, I do. Sometimes I talk percentages. Sometimes I talk cents. Uh, it's just the way I am. Drops family. Garden. Yeah, give Uncle Bruce some thumbs up. We don't want him fed to the wolves, you know. Uh, Joe, hey, Bruce, I want to rock poor man's covered calls on Microsoft. What are your thoughts? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Um, if you can pick off some Microsoft uh, covered calls, good till next spring or summer, and they're in that maybe, I don't know, 270, 80 range, maybe, or, or maybe 290. If they're in the money and they don't have a lot of premium, Scoop them up, depending on how far you got to go, and then start writing covered calls against them. Yeah, why not? Happy peppy. I bought two in the money GameStop calls on uh, the first of October for eighty nine hundred bucks. Um, I brought in thirty one hundred dollars this month selling calls against them. I bought another in the money call this week, hoping to bring in forty five hundred in November. Thanks, Uncle B. Oh, very good stuff. Nicely done. Socius is by curious. Okay. Um, Ed, I bought 10 Matterport, $17.5 calls um, expiring in January. Um, how do I determine what to sell for today? Option chain only shows November 19 bid ask. Weird. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, hang on a second. Something is stupid going on here. There we go. My, my, my computer went kind of stupid. Um. Weird. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, how do I determine what to sell for today? Um, Ed, I don't understand how the how your your option chain doesn't show the value of your contract. If you own them, you should be able to see what they're worth. Uh, something's. I'm missing something in your message here, buddy. I, I'm. Uh, I, I'm not. Something's not quite right here. I don't. I don't. 
I don't understand this question. Um, so should, I think it, that's an industry standard because it's more wretched, but rely, relatable than an arbitrary percentage. You were right. The percentage is way more accurate, but it's akin to the misnomer. Lower share price equals cheaper stock. Uh, Uncle Bruce, would you sell a Matterport November 19, 2250 covered call for 105, or would you go further out to December and take a 2250 and receive a buck 60? November 19. I would take November 19 because for the extra month, you're only getting 40 cents more. You deserve, you're only getting 55 cents more. You deserve more. So you take this November now, and then in November, you'll write the December for another dollar five, and you'll get a buck five for that month instead of 55 cents, double the money. That's that's what I would recommend. Yeah, that's how I do it. Matterport 2089, 2090 on Matterport right now. High today, 2095 on 3.3 million. Those contracts are getting coming more valuable. And make sure you do not hit the bid. Uh, offer the contract maybe at 110, 120, 130, 135. Pull the string on the price. Uh, make them come up to you to get it. Don't don't just hit the bid because uh, sometimes the difference is 15, 20 cents. And that's 20 bucks out of your pocket. Don't don't it'll take that kind of less money. Go for the max. Uh, w. Walters, good morning, Uncle Bruce and AJ Antigen. I read an article about Janet Yellen wanting to tax unrealized gains is she nuts or what can this happen it's probably not going to happen um we think of mcjones uh, hey badoom dish i don't know what that means um thanks associates um thank you i kind of get it it's the same when you talk about the dow for instance it's almost always numbers and not percentage when you talk about increasing or decreasing yeah yeah that's true um the dow is up 22 points s p is down eight nasdaq down 63 we're, we've got a nothing burger on this market this is not a bad day it's not a good day. It's not a bad day. We're not a bloodbath day at all. Uh, we're holding these gains that we've been getting. These markets are near or at all-time record highs. Uh, Smooth Wake, I just wrote some Matterport covered calls. <clears throat> November 19, 2250s, with a real high ask. If Matterport keeps climbing, they might just catch a buyer. Well, you know, that's a good move. I, I like it. Uh, take take this cash. Uh, they're handing you cash. Grab it. Um it's Matterport now, 2095, up 195. This is the high of the day. Uh, yeah, 2095. We're right there, baby. We're looking good here. Looks like we're going to go for 21 here. I like it. 2250s, uh, nice. Um, Ed, uh, my client shows them. Try flipping through the dates again. I see January 21, 1750s, 450 to 480 is what I'm showing on uh, on uh, that one. Okay. Um, Nazareth, sideways consolidation for the next two weeks, please. Free thinker, uh, taxing unrealized gains is not possible. Can't believe it was proposed. I can't believe anyone's taking the concept seriously. I, I don't see it happening. Rocket Lab at 13.58, up 21 cents. SoFi, 1982, down a dime. GameStop, 181.30, down 155. Matterport, 2087, up 187. ME at 11.31, down 68 cents. Spire, 566, down 16. ATIP 274 down a half a penny. Smart rent only down a dime at 1288. Smart rent is coming back on from that 1260 low today. Sextera down eight cents to 971. AMC down 48. Robinhood down 25. Vanek down 21. Hope Depot up 277. International Business Machines down six cents. The Dow up 26. Microsoft up 384. Apple down 551. <clears throat> Tesla up 1140. Royal Caribbean down 43 cents. Goldman Sachs down 274. Amazon down $132 a share at the Momente at this moment in time. Okay, there it is. That's where we're at right now, kids. Um, <clears throat> the credit savage. Uh, taxing unrest gains. Wow, okay. Well, then let's just charge people for crimes they may commit. Or let's charge people for hotel rooms they might use in the future. So idiotic. Ed, uh, got it. Um, the credit savage, credit crunch, don't worry. They ain't going to raise your taxes unless you make over 400000 laugh out loud. There you go. Cheers, everybody. Welcome to the show. From around the world. 2097 on Matterport. We're going for 21 now. People are getting ready, and they are writing options on their Matterport. I love it. Starting to bring in money. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. I say, grab the cash and say thanks for the dough. The dough raid me money. I take it. Uh, <clears throat> the yank, uh, they, they yank up. <clears throat> so says, yep, those numbers are totally for the evening news. So arbitrary. Top 10 of S&P 500 is the only reason the SPY is up. Rest of it's not all part of making the market complex. There you go. There you go. 
uh, Matterport, twenty ninety six. High today, twenty one dollars. Right now, we touch twenty one dollars for the high on three point five million shares of volume on Matterport. A very good day today, and a very uh, interesting run up here this last little while. This is beautiful. Um, take advantage of this for sure and write some contracts. Absolutely, Nazareth. Uh, Family Garden, some of us might actually make that this year, laughing out loud. Um, how about that? Making 400 grand, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, Matterport, 2096 up 196. Looking real, real good. Uh, love it. Love it. Okay, guys. Um, ETIP unchanged, 275. Um, Dow's now up 41 points. The Dow's up 41. Um, nah, S&P down only 6. NASDAQ down 55. Oil down to 82.19, down 62 cents uh, right now. Um, <clears throat> interesting stuff. Headline says here, Apple's troubles are about supply, not demand. That's right. It's not like Apple's products aren't wanted. They're wanted. They just can't, the buyers just can't get what they want as fast as they want. That's a good problem to have for Apple to have. That's why these shares won't be down here much longer. Uh, they're down five today. This is not going to last very long. Um, this is going to go back up. Um, <clears throat> pent up demand. Um, Ed, uh, can I write covered calls on the 10 call contracts I have for Matterport or just on the 500 stock I have? Uh, if you have in the money call options on Matterport, let's say you've got 15s, you could write 2250s against them. I think you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what's a good contract to write right now on Matterport? Well, people are writing uh, November's 2250s, November's right now. That's what some of them are doing at the moment. Matterport 2094. Um, Uncle Bruce has showed us how to make money for nothing just by leveraging our assets. Once you have a hundred thousand or more in the right stock, making four hundred grand a year is not unrealistic. He's taught us how to fish, people. Uh, free thinker. As soon as we find some sand, we'll all be good. Rock and roll. How about that? Uh, SoFi 1983 down eight cents. GameStop 181.33 down a buck fifty-two. Matterport 2090 now. ME 1132, Spire 564, ATIP 275. Um, thinking about writing a 1750 Matterport for December, I give it a chance to pull back a little bit. Well, uh, you, you could do that. I, I'm hoping, though, that if you did that, you would get a premium on top of the book value. I, I, don't, I would not want you to write a contract where you're only getting a book value. That's that's a no gain for you. You need a book. You need a premium on top of that, you know, book value all right now let's call it 21 dollars a share this should be a 350 book value contract you have to get much more than 350 to write that contract that's my thinking on it a uh, december right now uh 1750 is four to four thirty so at four dollars you're you're getting uh 2150 you're only getting a 50 cent premium it's really not worth your while obviously at 430 which is the ask if you could get 430 you know, you're, you're getting uh, $2,180, uh, uh, you're getting $0.80 cents premium. It's $21 on the stock right now. So I'm not sure if, if $17.50 is a good idea. Uh, a $20 contract, you'd get $250 to $270 for December 20. There's premium there, obviously. Um, they might pop up a little bit now that the stock has popped to 21 Maybe they'll pop closer to 3 bucks. That might be worth your while. Um, November... Um, uh, November 2250s are now 90 to 110 a piece. Um, and if you guys can get 110 to 120 for those 2250s, I, I'd look at those. Um, the December's now, let's take a look here. December um, 20s are 250, 70, 1750s are 4 to 430, not good enough. And um, 2250s, 150, 70. I'd stick to the Novembers at this point. The bidders on MTTR are now 2250 calls are coming up faster than I thought. Almost there. You may want to pull your order. Go up another dime or 15 cents. The stock's moving up. So 2117 on the stock. Push your market up. Put up your limit order. Sell for 20 cents more a contract. Pull the string. You're in charge. Don't sell out too low. 2118 on the stock. 
pull it back. Uh, I'll offer it for 140, 150. Make them come and get you. The credit savage credit card, which is so true. I had a thou, hundred thou in a CD, made a thousand that year. Go same and follow Uncle Bruce's advice. Uh, and I'm up 150 grand on the same hundred grand this year. I love me some Uncle Bruce. Thank you, Nazareth. Way to go. Uh, I wrote a few Matterport $20 covered calls for January 22 for well over $4. Um, Pat wrote five December 2250 Matterport for 135. Folks, keep time decay in mind. It's Friday and the clock. Keep sticking. 2114 on Matterport up 214. Roland um, sold my first five call contracts on Matterport. AB says 2250 November 19 for a cool 575. Thank you. Just wait for a pullback and buy the contracts. Yep. Wow. Matterport. Jennifer. Okay. Got it. Um, a BW. Okay. Uh, Uncle Bruce, thanks for the Matterport 19, November 19 suggestion. Went ahead and wrote a 2250, and I put it in for 130. Screw the ask of 110. I'm going to make them come get me and buy it. I control the pricing. Not that, that's right. That's exactly it. That's the way you play this game. Um, yeah, and hurry because my next exercise before I could get it. Could have had 30 more dollars. Uh, same. Nicely done, everybody. Yeah, um, offer your contracts, but offer them at the price you're happy with. And, um, you know, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145. Put them out there and make them come and get you because the Matterport shares, as they rise up in price, these contracts will start being bid up anyway because gamblers are going to start jumping in on the Matterport stock to play the option market, and they're going to bid up your contracts. You might as well take the big premium for them. Why the heck not? I like it. All righty. Matterport now back to twenty ninety nine. It will fluctuate, of course. It's going to jump back and forth. Get ready. 2120 was the high on 3.69 million now, looking really good. I like it. I like it. The Dow's up 50 points. S&P is only down 4.8. NASDAQ down 49. We might have an up day. I, I talked about that this morning when we started the day. We may actually have an up day today. Interesting stuff. Guys, way to go. Uh, GameStop, 181.96. Those contracts, those 180s are worth 196. And at any time the stock could back off, we, we don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Rocket Lab up 18 cents to 13.55. So far, 1980. Uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, Matterport back to 2101. Um, ME 11.30. Spire 5.65. ATIP 2.74. Down half a penny right now. Smart Rent 12.99. Up a penny. Just went positive. A little while ago, high of today of 1308. So we're coming back on on smart rent with 61,000 volume. That's all. 61, that's still unknown story. And uh, Goldman analyst calls it an $18 stock. That's going to hit. Amen to that, says BW to Smoothway. Got to get more premium to load Spire and ATIP deep. Next year calls. Anti, what's ME and SoFi's problem? Matterport is making mincemeat of them today. How about that? Mincemeat of them. Uh, Matterport, 2105.06 now. 2106 coming up to a new high on your Matterport. Keep those options up there. Don't sell them too cheap. Be greedy. Uh, wondering if the new Facebook is going to be acquiring MTTR. Seems like a good fit. Um, I don't think so. Just looking at Spire and seeing how there's movement of one to 2,000 shares and it moves the stock. That's how low the float is. Come on, let's keep buying at these bargain prices. Spire, 566. Only down 16 cents, low of 561. The stock is just jumping around. At, what is it to do? What are you going to do? Matterport, 2101, 2103 on Matterport, right near the high here. It's jumping around. I love to see you guys take nice fat premiums here. Mm. Thank you all for for being here and hanging around and uh, enjoying the. Hope you're enjoying the the fun here. Uh, never a dull moment. Uh, thank you all. Uh, fantastic. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. We got a good crowd here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for becoming new members today. A whole bunch of you. Love you for that. Hope you're making money today. Uh, there's definitely opportunities here. Option money is definitely on the table for you guys to take advantage of. And I'm glad that you're doing it. 493 thumbs ups. We're almost at 500 thumbs ups. And thank you to the new members who've joined today, too. This is awesome sauce stuff. Gotta love this. Gotta love it. Um, did I hear about uh, the QS from you? I had calls that are going up. 
I have no idea what QS is. Uh, Brad, I wonder if Facebook is going to be restructuring its business like Google did with Alphabet to avoid monopoly investigations. I don't know. I'm back. I did my call. Close. Nope. Come on, GameStop. Take a dump. <laughs> Has not yet bought him back, but is waiting. 150, uh, 150 on the uh, contract. GameStop, 180, 150. So the contract has a book value of 150. I just need a little pullback and you're in business. So just sit there, Rob, and enjoy. Anti MTTR made me money already, and Rocket Lab is trying to. Has, it has to beat its high. Uh, Rocket Lab up 15 cents to 13.52. SoFi, 1976, down 15. Uh, Matterport, 20.95. M Eden, 11.27. Spire, 5.63. ATIP, 2.74. There you go. There you have it. Matterport, 2096. Okay. Entertaining, isn't it? Um, hold. Uh, I had one Rocket Lab covered call. Uh, bought back for $65. Turned right around and sold a $15 November 21 for $75. Just a slice. Okay. Cool. Um, rank, making, making moves. Making moves. Up 56 on the Dow now. Uh, Matterport 2092. We're jumping around like crazy here. Really jumping up. I found out today uh, my company takes sick days out of our limited uh, PTO. Uh, don't know what that means. So I think I'll just be watching Uncle Bruce and the market for the rest of the day as a response out of our limited PTO part time. I don't know what that means. Um, Personal time off? Oh, they take six days out of our personal time off. Uh, I think I'll just be watching Uncle Bruce and the Rock for the rest of the day as a response. There you go. There you go. Okay. Cool. Cool. Why Apple Bulls aren't sweating the latest earnings disappointment. I know why. I know why. A paid time off. Uh, vacation time. Right on. Uh, Auntie laughing out loud. Um, Mentat, uh, good. you mean you don't do that every weekday? Uh, Pay time off, pay time off, PTO, pay time off. They, yep, yep. So essentially, you get sick, it comes out of your vacation hours. Yeah, yeah. So that's, it's not sick days at all. There are no sick days. It feels like I robbed a bank or something selling my first five covered calls. Even if I'm wrong, I sell at twenty two fifty a share. And I make another five grand profit on the initial MTTR investment. You just get richer. And of course, if the shares want to go up to twenty two fifty, you'll buy back these calls and you'll write twenty fives further out for even more money and so you raise your price and you bring in more money and if you get taken out there you make another five grand so hello um i'm back from my lawyer what did i miss uh michael wants to know yeah essentially no sick days cannot get sick like a robot cannot get sick how about that matterport 2077 up a dollar 77 we hit a high today of 2120 on matterport uh, just a few minutes ago and we might hit yet another one because this thing keeps rocking a uh, good volume on Matterport today, 3.82 million. Very nice. <clears throat> we uh, we were green on a few other stocks, but we're more red than green. At uh, still green on Rocket Lab, 13.52 up 15 cents. SoFi did break 20 today, but it's at 19.76 again, down 15 cents. GameStop was down to 170. What was that? 178.01, but it's now back to 182.53, still down 32 cents. Uh, ME 1131, uh, that is kind of the low of the day. Low is 11, so uh, that was the low of the day. Spire 566, low of 561 today. ATIP 273, down 2 cents. Smart Rent 1297, down only a penny. It's come back from a dip. Sextera down 6 cents. Um, there you go. I know the feeling, AB, when I make uh, secured uh, uh, puts, with BS, I feel like I'm stealing money. Uh, Rob, yeah, pay time off, off. Matterport still rocking, I see. Oh, yeah, okay. Matterport doing big things. Um, Clay, uh, Goyote, they technically don't. Your sick days are put together with your general vacation time in a lump sum. Uh, you didn't have the flu. You were on vacation. Uh, sold second round of Matterport calls. December 2250s for a buck 80. Average down to 1988 from... 2148. There you go. Uh, mediocre also sold three Matterport December 21st covered calls. Bought in at, uh, I brought in 405 bucks. Happened right before the big rise. Oh, well, some is better than none. If I get excess, I'm still up money. Thanks, Uncle Breeze. I'm learning. Rob, my company offers unlimited 
paid sick leave. If it goes past five consecutive days, you just need to go through insurance to go on a short-term disability, which is paid. Uh, Freethinker GameStop is going green. Uh, it is right now 183.52 up 67 cents. Um, Diody Clay, we don't get extra pay time off. All of my peers on my teams from UK Europe have more PTO than us by a lot, plus weeks of sick leave on top of that. I did cyber security for a Canadian company that gave us sick leave. Coyote, Rob, we have short-term disability too, but it's about 60% of your regular pay. People with chronic pain or disabilities be damned. Joe, which expiry are you suggesting for selling, selling MTTR calls? Um, uh, November 2250s uh, would be one to look at. Uh, let the stock uh, take a little pop here. Uh, it's right now 2068, so uh, let it get back up to the 21 level. Uh, maybe you can get 130 to 150 for him. That might be the way to go. 2250s. AB laugh a lot. Funny emotion after selling calls. I'm rooting for MTTR to go down now. Laughing out loud. How about that? Does SoFi not realize we have expiring calls today? Do not do they not know? Are they not aware of the fact that we are sitting on calls that are expiring this afternoon? Uh, hello? Oh, hello? 1980 on SoFi, down 11 cents. That's the way it is. 184.14 on GameStop, up 129. If they want to go to 190, uh, roll over time on those of you who haven't been able to cover your calls yet. 184.40, up 155 right now. 2069 on Matterport, up 169. Yeah, it's an odd feeling, laugh out loud, says Rob. Um, we do. Uh, can't stop, won't stop. Rob, um, AB, but it makes red days feel better. Didn't mean to change the subject with my work, but thank you all for allowing me to vent a little back in the market. Let's go. Oscar, wow, AMC. AMC, uh, up $1.15 to thirty-six thirty-eight. Little pop here. Um on uh, with the volume only 11 million on the day here uh won't take much to move it but why i don't know Fergan gamestop is uh, up as well and it is 185 60 up 275 keep an eye on the gamestop uh, if it can get closer to 190 you might want to do a rollover from the 180s to the 190s uh for next friday or the friday after that uh scooping some serious premiums here um gamestop took a pop too uh 184.99 AMC now 36.22 up 99 cents. High of the day 36.45 on AMC, but not mid mega volume, not mega volume. Matterport 2063 uh, up 163. Look at the volume on them. Uh, GameStop volume on GameStop uh, 587,000. Nothing burger. Uh, AMC 11 million. Nothing burger. 11.7 uh, million. Nope. 35.96. Giving up some ground here. I don't know. Little shot. I don't know what to make of it. Um, Matterport 2069 and GameStop back to 183.40 coming back. There you go. AMC will report earnings on Monday. Uh, Holo says, whoa. Uh, why did they pop at the same time? I don't know. Time to do a rollover, I guess, on GameStop. Well, you know, maybe maybe the 185s. Uh, uh, but the, the stock is backing off right now. So I don't know. Uh, if it's, uh, you know, if you can get to 185, maybe you can do 180, go from 180 to 85. I don't know. Um, GameStop and AMC have always charted similarly since January. Michael, I thought your SoFi options were January. I thought you had January SoFi options. 1978 on SoFi down 13 cents. Dow's up 70, high of the day. The Dow's at the high of the day, up 70 points. Uh, we're down 1.8 points on S&P. NASDAQ down 34 points right now. Oil down 47 cents. Uh, margin calls on GameStop and AMC? I doubt it. I really don't think so. It's starting, says Martin. Um, accidental GameStop again from uh, from uh, trying to type it elsewhere. The volume is low, but it ramped up in comparison to other minute ticks throughout the day. Uh, okay, my GameStop cover calls got a little nervous there. Uh, I have some in a very in, in every month, says NDPC on so far. Uh, well, GameStop calls now are worth three thirty eight. They backed off a little bit here. The stock got up to one eighty five seventy five. And now they've given up over two dollars in three minutes, so they've they are coming off again. Six hundred thousand volume, not enough to get excited about here. One eighty three fifty eight. I cashed out one this morning. I have one to go, says Anti PC. Um, Matterport twenty seventy eight coming back on again. Um, AMC thirty six twenty two got up to thirty six forty five. It's given up 20 some odd cents, but now 36.40 coming on again. 
12.9 million on AMC. A little move here, which is great. Those of you who are long AMC co uh, contracts or stock, you might want to look at writing 38s or $40 calls for next week or the week after. There might be some nice premium money coming your way if you play it right. Um, 184.20 on GameStop coming on a little bit more. Matterport 2083 definitely coming on. Get ready to write some of those November 2250s on Matterport. <clears throat> Try to get 140 to 150 for him. Handy PC, you be gambling. Uh, Rob, laugh out loud. Someone just bought the 180 expiry today for six bucks and it's already down to three to four dollars. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Uh, sir, this is a casino. Come on, AMC says Oscar. Ha, huh, says Michael. Go, go, go. Uh, Got to send money to make money. Got to spend money to make money, they say. 2082 on Matterport, up $1.83. GameStop back to 183.22. Um, and uh, yeah, what can I say? Um, fun, fun times. Um, 2084 on Matterport. Um, 2089 on Matterport. Getting a little better. That's good. That's good. Coming on a little bit. There might, there's an opportunity for some of you to write some Matterport contracts here. GameStop, 183.22, backing off, though. Mm. All right. AMC, 35.98, 36.10, high of 36.50, eh, fluctuating a bit. 14.2 million. Uh, there has been 3 million go through here in the last few minutes. 3 million did go through on AMC, but it's not up 3 bucks. It's not even up a dollar. Uh, now it's at 36.45. They're making a liar of me. 36.45 up 122. Uh, this is just under the high of the day. So a little pop again. 14.6 million on AMC. Uh, 36.42 up 119 right now. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, let's hope this infects other stocks. Uh, Matterport 2092 on Matterport up a dollar 92. Coming on. <clears throat> yeah, your Matterport is coming back up, kids. Uh, still about 27 cents away from the high of the day here. Oscar's laughing, loving this. Um, AMC is up and Matterport is up. Uh, Game's up a little better, but it's at 183.48, only up 63 cents on the day. GameStop is not leading the way higher. It's being dragged up with AMC. AMC is leading the way. GameStop is just falling in, following in simp sympathy, a sympathy move. AMC, 36.40, up 117. 15.1 million volume on AMC, 36.40, still below the high of the day of 36.63. Okay. <clears throat> Matterport, 20.91. GameStop, 183.87. Okay. Okay. Uh, Should have saved my Spire purchase until today, says Michael. 5.66 on Spire. Matterport, 20.88. Twenty ninety now, okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, we're just about done our show here. We're a little over time. Um, join me later today at three o'clock Eastern time. I'll be back on for the final hour of today's market and tonight at seven o'clock Eastern. I'll be on for live trivia tonight. Uh, on this channel and on Traveling with Bruce, for members of both channels, you can join me tonight for trivia. If you got nothing better to do, um, would love to have you. I got some more Spire says Oscar uh, anti trivia. Yes, trivia. Seven o'clock Eastern tonight. John, have a great day, everybody. You take care. How's AMC dragging GME? Well, AMC is leading the way here with a percentage gain and a heavy volume gain, and GameStop seems to be kind of meandering along with it. Uh, but GameStop is losing some steam right now. It's only up 62 cents, where uh, AMC is up 84 cents on a $36 stock. That's a much better move percentage-wise. But even there, um, 36.07, now 35.97, we're giving up some ground here on this AMC. 15.6 million, about 5 million went through here. 5 million shares of trading went through. But on GameStop, we have not had that kind of volume. We're only at 655,000 shares. No serious volume coming in there. Uh, Matterport looking better at 20.95 now, uh, up 195 a day. This had a good day all day. This has been doing great. Anti, I got nothing better to do. I'll see you at seven tonight. 
Have a nice evening, Phil, evening fellow simpleton, Sosius, a trivia night. Of course, we have nothing better to do, says Frumbler. Michael, they're going to bang GameStop under 180 to close. You just watch. You watch. They're going to bang that thing down there. Rob is going to steal those contracts for pennies later tonight. He's going to buy them for nothing, and he's going to love every minute of it. Have a good break, Bruce. We'll see you this afternoon. Later, folks. Thanks, Rob. You watch those contracts. Steal them for cheap and uh, get ready to write some next week. Right on, buddies. Uh, thank you, Simpletons. Uh, love you all. Uh, thank you, John. And thanks, everybody. We'll see you at 3 o'clock this afternoon for the final hour. Okay, you guys take care. See you. Bye.